All right, baby. Today's Monday. It's July 24th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barcelona Sports Snake Draft Monday. We're joined in studio again. We are back with Brandon Walker, and we have a first timer, Mark Titus. Mark, welcome. I'm nervous, guys. I'm that, nervous. So we're doing uh, we're doing five rounds, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Five rounds. And there's five of us. That's if my right. math is correct, that's gonna that's 25 picks. Mm -hmm. I looked at my big board five minutes ago. I have seven names written down. So, oh, <laughs> so if uh, you guys steal my my picks. I don't know what I do. I, I, I gotta imagine that you are aware of the website Google, correct? <laughs> Shit. He's such a, <laughs> yeah. he's such a cunt. <laughs> Um, yeah, you'll be, yeah, you'll, you'll be, you'll be fine. Figure it out. Well, especially once you no, get No, I'm rolling. saying I'm, I like, I, I, I had more names on the list. I have 35 names written down. Yeah, I, I made a big list and then I was looking at it. I become enamored with my picks and I'm like, I have to, like, I don't, I don't think I would be a good GM because I would, on draft day, if my, the guy I want gets drafted, I would just like panic. I would just. So it's like pick eight of the first round and you're yes. like, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I just I'm throw my So that's what I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here, obviously. You got your guys and that's it. That's who you want. Yeah. That's what you want to get. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, welcome back. I mean, I think, I don't even know the it's last one. It's my third. This is my third. I did wrestling theme songs, yes. which I won, but then they voted Robbie to win. <laughs> and then I did Sweetest College Football Players, which yes. I believe I won by the biggest margin a guest has ever won. Really? It was like, I got like 75% of the vote. I, I'd like to put my hand up and say that was not my best performance, if I remember correctly. I what was it? Happened. Swedish did you college? Take sweetest. <laughs> yeah, sweetest. Sweetest. Yeah. The best college football players like, from cool. Sweden. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. like guys that are That's cool. That's exactly it. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Who, uh, who would be was was Casey and Rick Clausen? Were they Swedish? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that welcome back. German to me. Oh, I forgot about Jimmy Clausen. He was the uh, yeah. he was the best one of the whole group. Yep. Yeah. The LeBron James of quarterbacks. Mm, really? That's they what they called him in high school. ESPN Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Once I've saved this topic recruit. for you for a long time. I can't believe you've not done this topic. I feel I, like you have done this topic and you're just lying. I swear no. to you, we have not done this topic. I saved it with you in mind. I've tried for months, and obviously, when you were in New York. There was a lot of shows going on. I was on. a busy boy. You were. You're a very busy boy. Now you're finally chopping the tree a little bit on mm -hmm. shows a little bit. Yeah. So you're here. Welcome. And uh, yeah, I saved it for you for a long time. And I, I'm a, like, I'm nervous because I know you have very strong opinions about Everything. this topic. Very strong this opinions. Topic, <laughs> yes. He has like, he does like those top fives, top tens yeah. all the time. I feel like you've done fictional athletes just on Twitter. Ten times. All the time. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh shit! I'm gonna look that up. I've done it by <laughs> basketball players, by baseball players, all of them. Yes. I have. I am very passionate about this topic. Yes. I did not look it up because I didn't. You want have to cheat. Twitter, Brandon? What's your? Uh, it's BFW okay. at BFW. Mm -hmm. All right. BFW. How much did you? Well, actually, the question is, do you have Twitter? <laughs> you haven't tweeted question. it since March. I don't need to. Okay. <laughs> um. All right, then we could just uh, hop in. We could. Can do we the just order. real quick? There's maybe a two minute topic that I got to talk about. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. White Sox Dave extended an olive branch to me this morning, mm -hmm. and nice. I thought it was very, very nice. I was sitting out there coming up with my big board or writing down my big board, and White Sox Dave walked by me, and he had in his hand a plastic container of bacon. And he said, this is from the restaurant next door. It's the best thing they make on their menu, the I bacon. think it is, actually. Okay. I, I'm talking now, Dave. Mm -hmm. So you said <laughs> it's the best thing they got on the menu, and you said, do you want it? And I said, yes, yeah, give me a piece. And you gave me a piece. And then you took a piece out, but you didn't really eat it. You I just, ate it? No, you kind of nursed it. And I ate the fuck out of that. And thing. then you walked by Titus and you're like, hey, you want this piece of bacon? And it, you left the pack of bacon with me, and I ended up eating four pieces of mm -hmm. bacon. Yeah. Only to find out later, I sat down and Chief asked me, hey, where did you get that bacon? And I said, White Sox Dave gave it to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now, White Sox Dave, as the story is unraveling now, I would like for you to tell everybody where you got the bacon before you gave it to me. Yeah, so Chief and I, we separately ordered two breakfast meals this morning, and we each got sides of bacon, and Chief ordered from the place down the street called uh, Ann Sather, and their bacon is outstanding. I sure, think. yeah. It's very uh -huh. good bacon. Covered that. And um, Chief, like a fucking doofus, didn't tell anybody he was chucking the rest of it. So the garbage is there piled high with like boxes and stuff. And there was a cart of a little tray of uh, bacon sitting up directly on top of it. So I just unopened, by the way, unopened. Did you open it? It was Maybe. closed. <laughs> yeah, I think I had probably opened it. Okay. Well, it was closed in the, okay. in the trash. And I came to the window and I looked at you. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't like, remember that. Let me stop well, you there. You Let, me you stop you there. Me. Let me stop and you there. Let me stop you there. You're skipping over the part where long you. Long story short, uh, Chief 
ordered bacon. Chief threw the bacon in the trash. Mm -hmm. You went to the trash, got the bacon out of the trash, brought it to me and said, here, you want some yeah. bacon? Yeah, that's that. what the yeah. fuck happened. Do you that's want some trash bacon? Yeah. yeah. He, didn't <laughs> say, he never said trash. Panda bacon. And would have never told me. Trash panda. Some would have, garbage bacon. He would have never told me if you hadn't said, hey, did you get that out of the trash? Yeah, I saw you eating I, the well, container. I ate I'm it like, too. Did, uh, did you try it, Brandon? I ate all three, three or four pieces. Yeah, was it good? Delicious. Then who cares? You know? Yeah. Like, it's a little and trash, now that's a little trash Harold. Yeah. If I had the... Is he leaving? Yeah, we are. Call me here. Are you about to go get more garbage bacon? Yep. Are you... All right. There's I mean, how much, how much bacon is in that garbage? Call me here. Here's the tray. It was in. Brandon does not bra, apparently. It was sitting right there. Unopened. On top of a box of Big League Chew and another styrofoam container. Perfectly fine. If I had the choice, mm -hmm. if I walked in and saw the bacon on top of the garbage, yeah. I might have made that decision on a personal level. Okay. I might have said, hey, I want that bacon. Yeah. And it's closed, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take it. He made it for me. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. He is... But oh, he, he, was, he was doing you a favor because now you have plausible deniability. You did not know it was in the trash. Brandon, if you walked in here and saw bacon in a trash can and pulled it out of the trash can and ate it, that would be unbelievable. Like, I, I, I I'm would, the trash I would, bacon yeah, guy. Yeah, you're the trash bacon guy. Yeah. I would seek help for you immediately. Dave but is, now He's the go-between. Yeah. Yeah, he's the go-between. You're like, yeah. I didn't realize this Actually, White Sox Dave, I, I, I flipped. Yeah, he did you a favor. Every time I come in in the morning now, I want you to go through the trash and see if there's anything edible. <laughs> yes, 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 that's and, what I'm saying. And well, here, it to me. Harry, you have a microphone for a moment. I don't think you need to tell him that. I think he does <laughs> that every day. Do no, that's, that's, that's a very rare. Work, huh? Is that hot? Hey, no, Harry, would, hot. would you have eaten that bacon known where it was placed? I've already said I've eaten. The, I would have eaten the bacon. Why are we asking would Harry? You, would you have ate the bacon? Well, he's seen the garbage can and where it was placed. I don't know what else went on in that trash can before. Uh, that's true. He does. What, what? Where was the bacon sitting though? On top, but I don't know how it ended there. I, I, I up there. I Two put minutes. It there. Feels like very. You know, yeah. Yeah. I think we. There. I think we've covered it. Dave is George Costanza. He went. He saw food that he thought still looked nice edible. Little eclair. Perched on top. It of wasn't. The, of it the, wasn't open or eaten like the eclair in Seinfeld, though. Yeah. You're. You're. Well, yeah, but I, I think what we're losing the difference you're, here is you're one standard deviation yeah. away from being George Costanza. Costanza ate it himself. I did too. He didn't pass it along to somebody you else. You saw me eating it. And then I handed you the rest, and I was going to go check the rest. And it I, was fine. I enjoyed the bacon. It was yeah. good bacon. That place makes good bacon. They make excellent bacon. That's why I was offended that Chief didn't offer it to anybody before he chucked it. Well, and he usually does, too. You weren't is, sitting here. And this is like a potato skin gate. So many potato skins out of the trash at Barstool HQ one time. You remember that? No. No? When it was like a whole big time. I so. would have eaten those, too. Yeah. Sure. I, <laughs> I have no shame Brandon in saying I just ate that. Now, if it was like a donut sitting bare ass on the garbage, no, absolutely not. Yes. This was close. So often donuts are sitting bare ass on the garbage. Sometimes they are. Ba a half-eaten donut. Just I just like the word ass. bare ass. <laughs> bare ass donut. Remember what's, the, what's the Wi-Fi situation here? Because now we like, have it. I, I, I wouldn't know it. Uh, cause now I got no it's fucking BS cell service. Just do the guess. Do the guess. All right, I'm just one, worried because yeah. you know I I have a very small big board here, and if things go awry, I also have no. Titus, anyway, uh, tell the ahead. world your phone number. What's your phone number? <laughs> I can send it to you. <laughs> can you airdrop it? Can I, while we're uh, doing small talk and getting things off our chest with White Sox Dave, uh, yesterday I had a, uh, I had a moment with this man that uh, I, I want to like, I, I, I want to do some team bonding. You know, we're gonna, we're all gonna work together now in, mm -hmm. in the same office and all that. And uh, I was watching, not, it was, it was an accident almost. I was just at a local bar around, around my place. They had the White Sox Mets game on, and uh, I'm sitting there. Just drinking beers and what I, I got caught up in this White Sox game that I don't think I would have ever cared about otherwise, but it was on in front of me and I'm new to Chicago, so I was like, I'll I'll fucking just sure. watch this game with the locals. Uh the Sox were down eleven to four. <laughs> they come rallying back. It was an incredible game. Uh it's it's now the it's the top of the ninth, right? Because they're playing in New York. Yeah, they're uh, in so New York, it's the top right? of the ninth. Um they're down they, they get it back to eleven ten. There's a guy on second and third. And then I think it was Anderson, Anderson right? Like flew fly, out to center, flies yeah. out to center. Um, and I, I was like, damn, fun game. And I go to bed. I wake up the next day, completely forgot who won. Mm -hmm. I, I, I legitimately had no idea. I just remembered like last night the White Sox game was so fun to watch for me mm -hmm. as a guy who didn't care. And I go up to Dave and I was like, fun Sox game last night. Completely, I wasn't trying to troll him. I forget. <laughs> I didn't, it, like, it just didn't, I don't know. In my mind, they like came storming back. And I guess the way I wrote it in my head was that they did win. It was a good effort. 
but they they came up like literally one batter short, and I was like, "Good game last night, Dave." And he's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> no, I didn't say fuck you. I said fuck like, that. No, fuck them. But like just that, and, I, and then it, and then it hit me. I was like, "Oh fuck, they lost." Whoops. So I just want to get that. I didn't mean anything by that. See, no, you. I didn't take it as offense. Like the the mention of the name White Sox. That triggers me. That's offensive to him. But yeah, yeah. You would have gotten a very similar reaction from any White Sox fan had you have said that. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing them, knowing them, it doesn't matter. I guess that's how pissed off the fan base is at that team right now. Very disgruntled. So I watched last night. They lost five to one. They sucked. That was bad. Yeah, they're dogs. I do like how you paid you, you paid enough attention to know it was a fun game, but <laughs> yeah, had did. no idea who won. I did. Like you were locked in, but not really locked I did in. The game was over. I was like, <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, that was bad. I don't remember yeah. the most important part of the game, which is who won and what the score was in the end. But I remember how much fun I had watching it. So. The final result. Yeah. There you go. I'm sure there'll be more of that. There we go. Um, all right, let's do the order. Uh, Titus Harry has number one through five behind his back. What number do you think it is? Uh, two. No. Brandon. It's four. Yes. Wow. Oh. You said order matters. Yeah, you, said you said order said, matters. In so. this one, I think it does. Okay. Where are you going? I get to yeah, choose. Yeah. get the pick. I, I need the number one pick. Wow. Okay. I think the number one pick in this particular draft is a bigger advantage than any other topic you've ever done. No. That's no. How we far had to I th- make a rule. We did NBA That's how far ones. I think number one is from everybody else. We, we did NBA and Sopranos once. We had to ban Tony Soprano and Michael Jordan because those were two. two I games. almost think you have to ban who I'm going to pick at number I, one. I, I think I know who it's going to be. I think I, I know who it's going to yeah. be, too, and it's a horrendous pick. It's but not I, a I horrendous pick. <laughs> I want you to do it. All right, Chief. Three. No. Dave. Two. No. One. Yes. Uh, I'll take the second pick. Uh, one through three, Titus. Uh, two again. Yes. Um, three. I guess I take the third pick. Or you can take the fifth pick and get doubled up. Yeah. Do you uh, want? Is it that snake? Uh, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't do that to me. Uh, one, don't two, do that to me. I want the third pick. Middle's good. One. Yes. I'll take five. All right, White Sox. Dave, you got four. Chief, you got five. Um, so the order is Brandon, Eddie, Titus, White Sox, Dave, Chief. Chief, congrats for winning last week. Thank you. Um, regional food draft. You didn't ever congratulate for me winning two weeks ago, by the way. I did, but it was in the middle of the draft. Uh, before we get kicked off here, I want to talk about Roback Activewear. You all know that mm-hmm. we all love Roback at Barstool. They just keep the gear coming. And when, trust me when I say I'm all set for summer because the guys at Roback. Uh, their peak uh, or their performance polos and hoodies are simply the best, best fit, best feel. Just all around best. Be on the lookout for the new performance polos all summer. Uh, we don't often wear polos, but when we do, we only rock Roback polos. These polos are breathable and lightweight to keep you cool on a hot summer day. And the performance hoodies right here. Mm-hmm. Brandon, you and I have discussed the performance hoodies in yes. New York. It was a long time ago. You probably don't remember. But I, I value that conversation tremendously. <laughs> my favorite hoodie in my wardrobe. It's so funny. They have the softest and the best it's hoodies. The they best do. hoodie they do. on earth. They're light. You they're, got like the pinker one, right? I got the pinkish. I have one. 35 30, or 40 yeah. of them, yes. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're light. They're breathable. They're But they're also warm. Like they're not oh, cold. Yeah, they're great. Yep. They're fantastic. You can wear them in the summer. They're, they're a hoodie you can wear in the summer. Yep. Which yeah. is nice. Yeah. Q zips. Uh, obviously, someone, someone rocking that dog logo. Two stripes in the back. The, the, did you say the joggers? The, the joggers. They're so fucking The good. joggers. Yeah, so it's summer. Make sure to check them out at rollback.com. Use code DOG on rollback.com for 20% off. All new customers through the end of the week. That's spelled R H O B A C K dot com. That's 20% off all hoodies, joggers, and polos with code DOG. It ends at the end of the week, so make sure you do it fast. So, uh, rollback.com, promo code DOG, 20% off. Nice discount. Um, all right, number one overall pick. Brandon, lead us off. Fictional athletes draft. All right, I think this is easy. I think everybody would pick this number one. And if you if you disagree, you're you're a dickhead. You're an asshole. It's Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rocky won Best Picture. Is Rocky, that, are, are, hold on. Hold on. Are we doing Rocky, Best Movie or no, Best no, Athlete? No, no. Uh, Rocky Balboa okay. is the okay. one of the most famous characters in the history okay. of movies. No, go ahead. They made nine movies based on Rocky Balboa. Sure. And how Rocky, many of those does he get his ass kicked? And like the whole point of the character is that he gets no, his no, ass no, kicked no, and no, loses. No. You're going to take shots at Rocky Balboa right off the top. I'm going to take Rocky Balboa. Okay. Rocky right. Balboa is the most. Can, can you remind me, Eddie? What is the what is the premise of what we're doing here? So the objective. Well, it's just, twofold. Just like, like, Some just, people would say, "Do what's in your heart." Just say like, what the title? What's the title of this podcast? Fictional yeah. athletes. Fictional athletes. Yeah. Is it fictional athlete characters? Is it fictional? It's is it however you is it interpret best it. screenplay? You tell me. Is it a more famous fictional athlete than Rocky Balboa? You he's can't got do a it. statue. 
I don't want an famous. entire I city want, identifies there, with this fictional There's a statue character. of him in Philadelphia right now. He, the, literally, the entire Rocky franchise is famous because Rocky loses all the time, but he like uh, does he it as won like the a Cold War. Yeah, he won does the it Cold as War. like a as like a guy you can root for. Right. He's an underdog. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a lovable underdog. <laughs> so that's sadly you Rocky. Rocky won. He loses, but boy, does he give it a gr- good effort. Then Do Rocky you take two. Austin he wins. Reeves with your first NBA pick. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, <laughs> what? That's obnoxious. We being for real? <laughs> they might come through the ceiling. Hey, Spider. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 falling off the ceiling. <laughs> Literally, the ceiling is falling. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's got, getting got, dusted. We gotta tell him to stop. Yeah. yeah, that's that's too much. That's the loudest I've ever heard it. That was that was the loudest I've ever heard it. That was insane. I, I what said is, that like I've, I've been here twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the loudest all God. week. Yeah. <laughs> that's really fucking annoying right there. This goes on hold it regularly. Con. It's been going on. They're installing a dentist's office upstairs. But oh that that was I've never that seen that. Sounded like the they worst. were in the room with us. I've never seen the ceiling come down. So, I, I haven't either. That's the yeah. first time I've ever seen that in this office, Chief. The that first was, time I've ever seen it. Ever. At me as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, that was, I've seen a lot in this office. Are we waiting for Eddie to get back? I think he's going to go crack some skulls up there and be like, hey, you want to continue your Rocky Balboa point? I mean, I could. But Titus was are saved we by rolling? the drill bit up there. Huh? Yeah, are we we're, rolling? We're just going to keep it rolling. We're right? definitely no. still rolling. I, yeah. I, I just think, I mean, I knew you were going to, I knew Rocky was going to be number I one. Think I, a, I think it's a different conversation. I think if you're saying like best sports movie characters of all time, of course Rocky's number one. I don't one. think we're having a conversation of which is the best actual athlete. Yeah, they're all actors. Yeah, I would. Right? Yeah. That's what I. I mean, I. I try to put together. Yeah, the best athletes. Oh, so you're just going to have a team of soldiers over here. This guy's taking the Monstars. I was told best athletes, best fictional athletes. Damn, <laughs> Monstars, what are we going to do? Don't break that down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, as soon as this, I'm I, already I thought to. you would take Rocky Balboa yeah. is, a, is a slam no. dunk number one pick. Okay, that's fine. The that's fact fine. that you I would have prob- gonna, I knew you were going to take him number one. Enjoy. That's why I wanted number enjoy one. Enjoy Anthony Bennett. You know? Enjoy. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great. Like that's, the guy, that's insulting. The guy. Like the whole reason the franchise was famous is that he got his ass kicked, but he that's like not didn't. Why, that's not that's why. Not why awesome it was famous. That's not why it was famous. It was the story of an underdog. Okay, in the world, in the world of rock, like we're in the movie now. We yeah. live in that world where right. there's this guy who was, you know, punching meat, and then he gets to fight a professional right. boxer. Yeah. Um, it's then based he on a true story. He he obviously becomes famous yep. in this world. Um, what is he famous for? What is is he famous because he like is one of the greatest well, boxers first, we've ever really. seen, at or is first, he famous because at first he's famous because he goes toe to toe with the champ, then he beats the champ. Does he go toe to toe, or is he get, he gets his ass kicked the whole movie? He, he, goes, 15 does, he, he, with him. he goes fifteen rounds with it. It was not even close fight. He he gets his ass kicked the whole movie and just doesn't. But get But he knocked goes fifteen out. rounds with him. Okay, uh, he stands toe to toe with him, then he beats him, and then he's the champ. And I'm then not he's sure the champ Titus has ever seen the movie. I think. All right. All right, no, Rocky Rocky is one of the greatest boxers were, ever, and that's what the franchise... Like, I don't think... Ain't right, going to be fine. no rematch because he was so beat up at the end, Apollo Creed. And then they had a rematch. And so then they, they had a rematch because yeah. money talks. But that was he was so dead at the end of the movie that he was like, I'm not doing a rematch against Rocky. He's a, what do you, like, what do you think piece, Eddie's doing right now? He's a piece of iron. What do you think Eddie's doing right now? Eddie, Eddie's going... He's uh, sassing those guys above north, us. Northwest side on him, being like, hey, cut the shit. Is Northwest side tough? That yeah, seems like the, the least some, tough. No, they got some Irish guys up there. Northwest side? Yeah. That's, oh, hell that, That's where all like the cops and all those people hang out. Am I on the northwest side or am I too you're, far? I'm in Wisconsin. You're, oh, you're, yeah. the, you're the you're, north suburbs. I'm, I'm a cheesehead, yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. But you like it up there. I love it. You going to adopt them? Who? Packers. Nah. I don't like the Packers. Okay. That would be really shitty luck too. If I got here now and adopted them now yeah. after after they had a thirty year run of Aaron, uh, of Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Well, that's the thing. I thought maybe because you had the the Brett Favre Mississippi connection. That I never liked him. Yeah, me neither. And he's he might be a thief. Uh, uh, he definitely is. Yeah. yeah, he might be a thief. That's he was. And fraud. he likes to sling his dick around in text messages. Well, who doesn't? I mean, when's the last time you sent a dick pic, Brandon Walker? When did I send that? That's a great. That is a great question. How many <laughs> dick pics? <laughs> I I. Be dick, honest. Have you ever taken a dick, dick pic? Dick pics came life? around after <laughs> after my dating career, so I never had the uh, uh, occasion to even possibly send one. Have you ever taken a dick pic for yourself? No, where you're I've just never, like sitting there and you're like, I, I wonder what if I was a dick pic guy. What, what is would that this look mark? Like? I did I did take a picture of my dick, but I never got the film developed. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's sitting on a, a Kodak disposable. It's camera still in a shoebox somewhere. <laughs> 
Hey Tommy, take this out on Walgreens. Get yeah. this film developed. Uh, but no, I I never I've never taken a picture of my penis. Yeah, I can't say I have either. What if you sent one to your wife right now? What would she? How would she react? Very underwhelmed. Would she be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I think or she'd be she like, like "How would you go about it? Would you be a bathroom mirror guy? Would you be like a shoot it from Eddie's like, back? We're talking dick pics." Yeah, I, I think I would. Nice. Would you take it from like up top? Would you? I think that's the best angle. Would you have right? Yeah, I would probably guess that that's the best yeah. angle. Or I might, you know, I work at Barstool. I get a cameraman to do it for me. <laughs> Spider, Gaz, Harry, <laughs> Hannah, Gaz is your guy. All right, so the number one pick was Rocky Balboa. It was Rocky. We're back after construction yeah, yeah, break. Yeah. yeah, we kept talking during catch, the whole thing. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, cool. Anything else? No, yeah, I, mean, I just, I'm, the, I mean, I'm the one dissenting opinion, but that's okay. Titus, he's, he's Titus has the, never seen Rocky. If we're gonna dissent about Rocky, we're gonna be here for seven hours. That's because we're gonna I mean, dissent about everybody. I like it to be clear. Yeah. It's all. I think it's the only. I just like I. I yeah. I misunderstood the assignment of what we were doing. I guess. I, I'd like to see your understanding we, of the assignment. You'll when see we get it to your soon picks. enough. When we get <laughs> to <the picks. laughs> all right. It's to me. Uh, Brandon's gonna shit on this one. I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's Benny the Jet Rodriguez. I'm not gonna shit on that one. I, I had I had him slotted as a first round. pick. Oh, you did? Okay. I thought you hate Sandlot. I don't. See, that's why you people, you people, <laughs> suck. you people. <laughs> I never said the Sandlot sucks. I said it's overrated based on nostalgia. It's not as good as people act like it is. But Benny the Jet is an all time character. He's the guy. If you're right. the guy on the team, he's the guy. Yes. He's you know what the I like guy. about Benny the Jet is that he could have let the the. He could have been so cocky because he was the guy, and everybody knew that it was eventually going to be him that made it to the show, and he was just always. Well, well that's even the thing. Keeled. Nowadays, Benny the Jet gets poached by some fucking travel. Oh team. yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, you that's know, the world. Yeah. He should have been playing with those guys that <laughs> they were, had the uniforms across. Yeah, town. he should have. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm sticking with my boys. So. Yeah, he's like he's playing for some academy in like Vegas or yeah. Miami or yeah. something, yeah. and he gets yeah he can't even live in his like own town anymore. He, 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 hates yeah. <laughs> he, he was stopped, he stops playing when he was fifteen. <laughs> yeah, you he know was like a superhero. Of? Like when he hit the ball the, the, to get who was the kid's name? Blanking on the kid's name. Smalls. Small. Kyle Smalls. Where he just hits it in the outfield, just hold your glove up there. Like yeah. that's like a one in a million shot, and he and he nailed it. So that's also kind of stupid, right? Kind of, but yeah, it's, it's probably the dumbest thing they do in the entire movie. The but, Jet stole home. Yeah, stole home. Yeah, that was, that was cool. He knocked the cover off the ball once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knocked the literal cover off of it. Oh, yeah, he he does. He, he regularly did things that you will never, you never, you could live your whole life and mm -hmm. never see a guy a knock the cover hero. off the ball. And he did it when he was eleven years he old, did, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty shocking. Good. It's just a pretty good pit. That's this. This is what I had in mind when I was that, thinking. His exit draft. Was, yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah. Just yeah. To control that group. You know? Yeah, it was a good guy. Uh, Titus, you're up. Uh, my number one pick is uh, Scott Howard, but only as the Wolf in Teen Wolf. Um, not. I know in the end uh, he he doesn't wolf out and he hits the free throws you know as a normal dude but um, when you look at the wolf's highlight it it, it is it, it, if this was real life this would be the greatest high school mixtape of all time when Michael J Fox is a wolf um, he he's got like the curly Neil ball handling mixed with some Dominique dunks mixed with Michael Joy he's like Magic Johnson there's a little bit of everything in it he he might be the greatest basketball player ever put the film the i wolf. almost feel and, and stop me if i'm wrong i almost feel like there's a realism question there like when he does turn in the wolf on the on the court nobody actually they kind of react at first like oh i'm surprised i'm scared i don't like this but then as soon as he dribbles between his legs they're like oh okay cool that's no, always as the soon case. as he's just really good at basketball play, yeah it's the great equalizer if you can hoop we don't we're gonna ask zero questions yeah. we're just gonna be like this man can hoop can, can we um, get him into school but if you go back and watch like the montage when he's the wolf, he also is like pimping it a little bit. Where like not only is he like making great plays, but there's like one where he, he, there's like a runner where he shoots like a a two handed finger roll almost yeah. like Granny. Like he's he's doing shit that like looks stupid. And he gives us some flair too. He gives some flair, and he's so good that he's making those as well. I I think if you showed me this high school mixtape and you're like this this is a 16 year old and I and we're living in this world like you said where you look past like the wolf mm -hmm. and you're just like taking it at face value that this is a basketball player I would say that this is the greatest mixtape I've ever seen again to the realism point do you does this mean wolves just the animal are really good at basketball or are they just great athletes well, they got fast switch muscles yeah. I think yeah, yeah. He could play I, I, he could I don't play know that they out. do I think they're more endurance than twitch Huh? You think they're mm. distance runners? Yeah. Not? Are wolves and werewolves the same thing, though? Oh, that's a good, good, point. good point. Because he was not a wolf; he was, he was a, a werewolf. werewolf. Yeah. yeah. He, Scott Howard could rush the passer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, like you could. He could put yeah. his, his his hand in the ground. Yeah, and, I agree. And get to the I quarterback. Uh, so this is a pick where I do feel like not knowing these guys, 
you definitely could have got this wrapped around. Oh, yeah. It was guys, on my list. It wasn't was on my list. Yeah. I've never I would seen not it. I had Teen Wolf as a first rounder as well. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I like it. I also love the Teen Wolf gifts. Yeah. Something yeah. about a good Teen yeah. Wolf just in, the, in gift form. Just I enjoy it. it. They get sent to me pretty regularly <laughs> considering my facial hair. That was a... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've never seen the movie. Uh, it made it made LeBron kind of likable on Twitter, too. He, he did... I, I remember he did like a... Uh, uh, I don't know if it's a thread, but maybe it was just one tweeted. But he, he he was basically like watching the movie one time, and he was like, "My problems with Teen Wolf," and he was like breaking down the realism <laughs> of Teen Wolf, um, oh, really? which was uh, yeah, very movie, relatable though. content from LeBron James. Yeah, I enjoy Teen Wolf. Uh, so. White Sox, Dave. I'm gonna go with Kenny Fucking Powers. That's I knew you would do that. I wouldn't have done it had I had he was third on my big board. Uh, Rocky and, and Benny the Jet were one and two, but Kenny okay. fucking Powers. What more is there to say that hasn't already been said about him? A great American. Brandon, I know you're from the South and you're all like, you know, America and all that. Um, you know, Banks Chicks is hilarious. He has his own um, uh, like biography DVD collection uh, that he listens to on his own. Kenny Powers is the man I aspire to be one day in real life. No, that explains a lot. I love Kenny Powers. I had Kenny Powers in, in the first round as well. So it's a, it's a great pick. You aspiring to be him. I actually wouldn't mind seeing like a year transformation where you just do become him. Oh, it's that it's, could work. It's uh, been 34 than, years in the making. You'd have you, to get hair plugs, but you can Yeah, that's true. I could grow it. the Jerry Curls. I'm getting those. Hopefully, eventually. <laughs> Jerry Curls? No, the, the, the hair, hair plugs. plugs. Hair when, plugs. They, when they give you hair plugs, it's always for the top, right? They don't do hair plugs for the back. You can't get a mullet hair well, plug. Well, n- they take the Extensions. hair from the back. And put it on the top. Oh, it's just extension. He's, you're not listening. But to what I would saying. have to, I would he, have to grow it out and get like the perm and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. So when they take it from the back, is it gone then from the back? Or yeah, but it from gone. The back? I'm not. But then you need hair in the back yeah, for the moment. No. So where's so that hair cycle? No. You take you, it from the I top. I wouldn't because the hair in my back, I'm not losing it all. Not the hair on your back. No, the hair on the back of my head, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but where does the hair on the top of your head come from? It the comes back from of the your back. Head. But, but it's wh- not all so of it. So if you it's take it from the back, of then where does, what just, do you have in the back? They're taking, Dave, you ain't got a lot of hair. <laughs> all right? On the back, I do. As Brian Erlacher, he said, I got great donor hair. <laughs> it's true. He did say that. Erlacher did say that. <laughs> he did. He did say that. He I didn't did. know Erlacher said that. <laughs> Erlacher said it. Checkmate. So, uh, yes, I would like to grow out. Uh, the Jerry Curls and be Kenny Powers. Like I, th- that'll be the last step now, to the transformation. I, I hate to be all Titus mm-hmm. and be a stickler here. Mm-hmm. Kenny Powers it, it kind of sucked. Kind of sucked. Uh, That's what he that, won a yeah. world. He closed out a World Series. Uh, early true. Kenny Powers did right. Early Kenny Powers. Then you know he let the fame get to him a little it bit. Kind of sucked. I'm just, I'm just saying. Kind of sucked. Could, well, hold on. World the Series. raw talent was there. I think it was the off-field distractions yeah. that caught up. You know, him. he got into booze and coke and women. Yeah. 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 He, hurt but, his, he hurt his nose, as he yeah, said. He, 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 the, uh, he hurt his <laughs> nose. He went to rehab. Hurt my nose. <laughs> hurt my nose. <laughs> um, no surprise. Kenny Powers. Yep. Chief. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, probably uh, the number one, the only golfer you could really take on this list. I think he's the f- <laughs> Uh, yeah, he is. If you take one of the other ones, the other ones stink. Happy Gilmore was a hockey player who just happened to be playing golf that day. That's relatable. Uh, I love that movie. One of my favorite movies from the 90s. I think of the ones that have been picked, except for maybe Kenny Powers, Happy Gilmore is the funniest uh, and the most enjoyable movie still to this day, other than probably Rocky. So I'd say it's still I think probably, ha- aside from his most oh, recent Brent, sports. Brandon didn't like that. What? Happy Gilmore as a movie kind of sucks. No, it doesn't. No, it's, it's a I, fucking, When's the last time I, you I watched it? When's I, the last time you watched it? I think you I watch it every time it's on. If it's yeah, on television. Yeah. That's, it's, it's one of those movies. Body. You, watch you might have been too TV. old when it came out. You hop in it. when it's I was, in the middle. I was 17 <laughs> when it came out. I was the exact perfect age when it came out. Okay. But I, I, it's just not that great. Oh, that's think. that's bullshit. You're that's bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> Happy Gilmore is probably his best comedy. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. Uh, All right, well, uh, th- three, what, is, what is his best comedy? Well, I love The Wedding Singer. Billy I Madison, Wedding Singer? Wedding Singer is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. I love The Wedding Singer. That's not, that's like a dramedy. Or yeah, not dramedy, yeah, yeah, yeah. a rom-com, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, but that's Com comedy. It's, I know, yeah. I know, but it's romance. This is just pure... Wedding Singer, Big Daddy, and Billy Madison are my top You like Big Daddy? I, I like do. Big Daddy, too. I love do Big you? Daddy. I'm on, I think it's fine. I think it's pretty mid. I mean, it's yeah. fine. No, it's good. What do you like, Brandon? I like a lot of movies. I like I like Rocky. I like 
I like Fifty First Dates. Like it's pretty good. It's not a bad show. That's yeah. not a bad movie. Sorry. Yeah. People jump down my fucking throat for saying that. I think I think Big Daddy is better than Fifty First Dates. I think Fifty First Dates walks laps no, around. Runs I have laps side characters, the delivery oh, yeah. driver. Uh, there, there's so many good ones. Yeah. And, uh, I think I saw yeah, Big Daddy Big once Daddy. in the theater, and I never had a desire to see it again. Give another crack. And Little Nicky, of course. I thought Little Nicky was hilarious. I, I bet you I did. I bet you that. did. <laughs> I, ha- I saw it in theaters, and I don't know if I've ever seen it again. Yeah. But how, I was also like 14 or yeah, 15. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, were you? But I remember laughing hysterically yeah. every time the dude with the tits on his forehead, he would have different tassels on him. That is, like, that's funny. That yeah. movie came out in 2001 or 2000, and I was like, all right, well, the Adam Sandler era is over. It's over. Done. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. It's yeah. done. That's Zoltan. It. Um, all right, happy going. That, was, that wasn't – that was uh, – Ash and Kutcher. No, it wasn't. Zoltan? Don't, don't mess with the Zoltan. 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 Zoltan was from Dude, Where's My Car? Correct. Yes. Oh, so what did I say? Zoltan. Well, Zoltar what... was was from Big. Yes. Yes. Zoltar, Zoltan, Zohan. We got a lot of... You don't Zohan's mess with the Zohan. With yes. Zohan. That's with what uh, uh, Adam Sloan Sam. from Entourage, right? Mm-hmm. Really? That's mm-hmm. Emmanuel Shrieky. Shrieky. I thought mm-hmm. it was just Creaky, but okay. Yeah. Shrieky. Is it Shrieky? Sh- I think it's Shrieky. She's she's hot. She yeah. is fucking yeah. gorgeous. She's mm-hmm. attractive. Yeah. Good mm-hmm. looking girl. Um, all right, Chief, second round. Before you make your pick, I want to talk about Miller Lite. It's not quite summertime in Got Chicago without beer and hot dogs. That's why Miller Lite and Vienna Beef are teaming up again to bring great taste to Chicago to celebrate National Hot Dog Day. Uh, throughout the month of July, Miller Lite and Vienna Beef are hosting tailgates where guests will get to enjoy cold beers and free specialty hot dogs prepared by local chefs who compete to become the hot dog champion of Chicago. The tailgate uh, kicked off last week at Rizzo's. We told you about that. And uh, this Wednesday, us, we'll be there. Me, Chief, White Sox, Dave, Guaranteed Rate Field, uh, White Sox, Cubs, and uh, it comes to an end on July 28th at Impact Field with the Chicago Dogs take on the Milwaukee Milkmen. Mm. Um, Dog and a beer. Can't beat it. No. That sounds like and a those, fun game. Those are the two best. Would you like to come, Brandon? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would love to come. And have a Miller Lite? <laughs> yes, a Miller Lite sounds wonderful. Yes. That'd be great. And Anything for beef. Great taste, yep. less filling. Mm-hmm. Go, go do that. Check out the full schedule. It's available at MillerLite.com slash Vienna Beef. Uh, summertime, Miller Lite. We should have hand in hand. we should have in a Miller Lite event at Brandon's house since he's like halfway between here and the brewery up in Milwaukee. Ooh. That's a great idea. That could happen. Yeah. That will be okay. nice. Do that. Let's do that. That'll be nice. A very nice backyard mm-hmm. with m- multiple chairs. Okay. Yep. There we'll, we go. We'll, we'll send the stoolies out to your address for that. <laughs> so uh, they've already there. found it, Chief. Have they? Have they? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, a shame. God. What One, airport would we fly into to get Milwaukee. to place? Milwaukee. From here? So that's, fly O'Hare to, to Milwaukee? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it, is that how we get there? Would be cl- that would be w- faster less than... Less time. Probably more distance with less time with traffic. Are there people that fly from O'Hare to Milwaukee? Um, but they're assholes if they do. I mean, yeah, there are people who do it, but I wouldn't say it. Like, no. It's not prevalent. Yeah. I, I think you it's, drive. yeah. People do up to Green Bay, though. Yeah, people, people do. Green Bay is three, I know two hours past Milwaukee, right? Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah it's, up, it's no. up north, yeah. Uh, Chief, second round. Uh, I'm taking Henry Rowengardner. So, <laughs> oh. what? You don't like that one, Brandon? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't want to be the guy that does that, so go ahead. No, you are the guy that does that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you turn over new leaf. Go here ahead, in wrong, Gardner, go I ahead. love that movie as a kid. That was every kid's dream. You just wake up with a hundred mile per hour pitch, uh, like Kenny Powers. We all tried it. Yeah, we all tried like, it. Yeah. We all, we all went to the arm. backyard yeah. and we're like, break my arm. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe let's find out. Yeah. Throwing gas. <laughs> Could it? Brandon, I, I guess Brandon only likes realistic movies. You can't suspend disbelief. I can suspend disbelief. Okay. I, one of my favorite baseball movies from that era suspend is Little Big belief. League, where he was the owner. Suspend belief. Thank you very yeah. much. Suspend. Yeah. No, it's suspend disbelief. disbelief. Yeah. No, suspend belief. No, it's d- disbelief. Dis- disbelief. You have to suspend disbelief because I don't. Be- you like, have to you stop disbelieving. disbelieving. Yeah. That right. would make it a double negative. It's making it a if positive. You suspend, if you suspend, suspend is not a negative. negative. Suspend means stop. It's an yes. action. So stop, stop disbelieving. Believing. It's an action. <laughs> yes. So you're unable to stop disbelieving. What? What? No, I don't know. You, Make no. your fucking pick. <laughs> Suspend disbelief is temporary. Allow oneself to believe something that right. isn't true, especially okay, okay, in order okay, to okay. enjoy yeah. a work of fiction. Are you on the wagon or off the wagon <laughs> right. when you start drinking again? I don't fucking know. <laughs> you're off the wagon, right? <laughs> I think right. you're on it because you're, you're drinking again. Dave, you were directionally correct. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, he's he was the opposite direction. All right, I said it right. Do your Henry Rowan thing. Anyways, I love that movie. It's Wrigley Field. It's the Cubs. You're throwing 100 miles per hour. It's a 12 year old. Milf. M- Mil- oh, well, that's yeah. his own mother. Well, I'm, I'm, like it wasn't my mother when <laughs> I was watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't yeah. saying. Uh, no, she I was. was saying, she who hasn't was. gone to the backyard and tried to fuck their mother? <laughs> 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 I was saying. I mean, Brandon. We all did it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
you're from He's, Mississippi, so all right. It's just that, kind of an assumption. That was low hanging fruit. Uh, yeah, it was. You yeah. set yourself up for that, Brandon. Sorry, Sorry. I thought I thought I was just talking about the movie in general. No, like she was. What I, what I enjoyed about the movie. Yeah. She was. I actually. Yeah. Met you get to her. hang out with the wet and sticky bandits. That's true. That he was a great character too. Awesome. He, great was, character. he was the perfect side. Um, yeah. yeah. If I can, if I can pick nits, and I feel like that's what the point of the sh- yep, show totally. is, is to do this. Um, I, I also, I, I had Henry Gardner, uh, Rowan Gardner on the list. Garden I, Hoser, I, Garden Hoser, uh, eventually cut him because uh, how much can one? They do win the World Series. Yeah. They win the World Series. Suspend this is, disbelief. <laughs> this is, it's incredible. Yeah. But how much can one pitcher? I feel like there was an unsung hero who played like first base or right field on that Cubs team mm-hmm. that was actually carrying the team like night in, like day in and day out was in the lineup because Rowan Gardner's pitching what once every five games. Yeah, but you also had it, like is he? You also had the Rocket in there though too. That's a pretty good one-two punch. So he's a great pitcher, but like, can one pitcher, if you have the bet, like, how often does a one Cy Young well, guy? He literally has guy, like a robot arm though. So yeah. couldn't he pitch every day? I. I, I that was my interpretation too. Yeah, he, Is he, well, he could pitch every yes. single day. Yes, because his arm wasn't okay. real. Ran the bases okay for a twelve-year-old too. But what about doesn't at the end he falls and he loses his arm, right? Correct. So now it. you've picked the guy it. who doesn't have an arm anymore. No, he floats it. He yeah, floats he it. The throws it under. Under. You pitch the, you, you you basically have a woman now. You have a slow pitch <laughs> softball pitcher. That's he, who you just uh, picked. It's about getting outs, which he did. Okay. Yeah, they won the pennant and then the World Series. Did you? I don't. I only saw the they movie. They did once. win the World Series. Yeah, they won the World Series. But I thought you, the last game was winning the pennant, right? Yeah. And then it just tells nuts. you they won the World Series. Yeah. Well, at oh. the end, he's got the ring. The ring. You know, and it, it says World, World Series. Series ring. Yeah. But I, 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 feel bad for the guy on the Cubs who was like actually the Iron Man of the team who was like, yeah. you know, I think it was Mark points. Grace. Was I think it was points. Mark Grace. There was some guy yeah. that hit like fifty homers and yeah. like batted three thirty. That and no one gives a fuck because like the twelve year old with the broken arm was. I don't want to story. Listen, I'll tip it because I don't think anyone's gonna pick him, but. The casting choice of the uh, the guy who's the batter for the Mets. Right. Oh, it's all time big all-time ass time fucking villain. dip. Yeah. 90s juice head. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. he was perfect. He was like, like he's a Giambi. That guy. he was Jason Giambi. Yeah. He was Giambi. Yeah. Giambi, yeah. Giambi yeah. and Kruk yeah. put together. No, like, yes. that's what it was. <laughs> no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, he had the little drool. Yes. Great red guy. man. Yeah, love that guy. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I will go with. Uh, do I want to go back to back baseball or nah? Hmm. No, I am gonna do it. I'm going to go with Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. I thought for a second he'd get back to me. Makes a lot of sense. We do have a theme with Dave's picks. Just guys he wants guys to... Guys who throw guys, gas. Guys he wants yeah. to fucking yeah. hang with. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would love to hang with Ricky <laughs> criminals. Ricky Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. Ricky Vaughn's a great pick. Good Wild pick. Thing. Yeah. It's my favorite sports movie. It's a great movie. It's, it's yeah. a fucking fantastic I, movie. My only thing with this is that he might be, to me, like the fourth best character. So you put him behind Serrano and I don't Jake want to Taylor? T- I don't want to tip picks, okay, okay, okay. right. but... Uh, not Jake Taylor. Jake Taylor's too much of a straight edge. I'm just, I was just throwing out names. I know. Yeah. yeah. So Serrano's he's, awesome. He's pretty good. He also Fourth became best. president one day. He did. David Palmer in mm-hmm. 24. Yeah, that's sure true. Did. Yeah. And, he now, and he was fantastic president. Is he State Farm or Allstate? I think all, he's all state. All state. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Rogers is State Farm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't give a shout-out to the wild thing. with. I mean, the Nadu video is one of my... Like, when they photoshopped the do on, I'm not familiar with. I don't. It's a wild thing. The do, the do, the do. All right. I don't no. think I remember this video though. You never seen that? Oh, when they did, uh, yeah. When, when yeah. he comes <laughs> out of the crowd. With oh, the yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, yes, yes, yes. Never, never mind, never mind. Wait, <laughs> I don't think. Hold on. Which scene? It's when Rico Love. The, the wild thing. Yeah, the wild thing. He comes out of the bullpen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the whole crowd's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Electric. And Dave standing on the Dave is Lou Brown on yeah. the mound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just something to say. <laughs> Lou Brown just died a couple years ago. It was like crazy. Maybe yeah. His name is it. James Gammon. Let's put some respect on James Gammon, please. And the scene where Ricky Vaughn does come out to Wild Thing, mm-hmm. maybe one of my top five scenes in movies. It's it gives me the chills every time. Every time I, watch yeah. it. I can and watch I, it every single and I've time. I've seen it a thousand times. Yeah, it's on. It's incredible. Yeah. And actually, now that we're if, to go to your point, he was actually pumping upper eighties in. And they like casting it in the scenes. They picked him because he was he was never going to be a pro ball player, but he was like an awesome pitcher yeah. for real. I think th- I looked it up. Eighty eight was what he was touching. Good pick. Mm-hmm. I think Costner threw pick. hard too. He yeah, I don't want to not tipping picks, but he threw hard. Titus. Um, uh, all right, so are we almost out of your picks? Yeah, I'm done. You got to leave I'm, soon. I'm, yeah, it's almost tapped. Uh, so I think I got to go. We got Chicago guys. I don't. I don't want to do too basketball, but uh, I'm worried this man's. I'm, I'm surprised he lasted this long. 
uh, with the Chicago guys in the room. Uh, uh, I am picking a character from Space Jam by the name of Michael Jordan. It, you can't. <laughs> Boy, hold on now. It's not a fictional this, character. Hold on. Here we go. I'm picking. I'm picking Michael Jordan. So, so you're. He does he, turn into a cartoon. I know. So. It, <laughs> Michael Jordan goes twenty two for twenty two from the field. Uh, yeah. He saves the Looney Tunes from. But it uh, is Eternal. Michael Jordan. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if 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 this if this character in this movie is not fictional, you're telling me that the real Michael Jordan can dunk okay, from here, half court. Yes. As cartoon monsters are tackling. I'm him. playing yes. devil's advocate here. What about like Ray Allen and he got game? Well, that's well, a that, different that's a character. character. He plays a character. So, don't tip uh, picks. Can we can can <laughs> do do me a favor with the with Come the? On, can we dude. look up Space Jam on uh, Wikipedia and and read uh, the description of of the characters? Of, of the character, yeah. Well, sure. Yeah, do yeah, it. Sure, do it. Sure. Have you already did, did you yeah, go? Uh, I, I may have this already morning? done this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you should have just picked Newman. You could have Stan. Yeah, you could have Stan. But he's. But st- why would you want Stan Podolak? He checks in. He gets a. He gets yeah, a sta- he gets, I don't know if he has he a stance. Again, I thought he's kind of club trillion in a way. I I, yeah, I realize true. I'm going to yeah. get killed for it, and I'm I'm the odd duck here. But like I was trying to put together a team of like the best fictional athletes and the, the, the best athletes, not like the fun. The most. Are we going to have a vote here? I, I think a we veto? might have to have a veto vote though, because he's a real human. Okay, being. what does it say? Uh, it where, say? where 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 am I going? Uh, you said, already know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, so I would be just do it. Space Jam was the first film to be produced by Warner Brothers. Are you going to give us a and released theatrically in the United States? Uh, the film received. Uh, the, 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 wait, where I, where, I, I where of all this? Up. Space Jam is 1996 live action animated mm-hmm. sports comedy mm-hmm. film. The film stars basketball player Michael Jordan as a fictional version of himself. Michael Jordan as himself. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Fictional version. So the of film himself. stars basketball player Michael Jordan as a fictional version of himself. This is such a weird one because, like, for instance, in the beginning of the movie, uh, when they they sneak into his house, like that's obviously just a standard suburban house. Like, yeah, it's that's not Michael nothing Jordan's about. House. The only thing they use is his name, basically. All right. So are they use his kids' names? I don't know if they do. I can't remember. No, I don't think they ever say the kids' names. No. No. But it's Michael Jordan as Michael Jordan. So but, that, so then, I mean, you could do... To name the character Michael Jordan. Yeah, but then, so, so, but so I, should I take Larry Bird next from Space Jam? You and could, Charles yeah. Barkley from Space you Jam? Could. I, I, you could. Hmm. He is right, though. Stan is the ultimate club trillion guy. Yeah, that's... Stan, I, 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 I clearly have no idea what this assignment was, because I was like, <laughs> I, why would I want Stan? <laughs> no, I, well, I want the best We're athlete. Not. I We're, want the guy that scored right. 44 yeah. points. Like, so the, we did, like, fictional cars, like, movie cars a while yeah. ago, and, like, Dave took the, uh, the Muttmobile from... Uh, Dumb and Dumber, right? Yeah, right. It's it not the fastest have, car. It's, it's not, not we're not trying the most to win expensive. a race. Yeah, yeah. But it's just okay, well, the, the, okay. the cars that I the, the but I'm, I'm I'm confused. But the best the mud cuts. Yeah, but like that's that is an awesome car. So like that's <laughs> it a good is awesome. that's an awesome that's car. Kind of fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, but it's an like, awesome car. He spent his whole life savings turning into. Right, like, I'll, I'll you're trying to like you're trying to like build a team to win some kind of athletic competition. I'll just do all I'll do all repicks and just Google like I'll just do like Scott Howard plays. Yeah, like I'm, I'm confused by this. For the sure, I was ready. Why, to don't, why don't you guys all go through it and no. then I'll just do my picks at the end. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'll, I'll pick draft. the most basic. You gonna sign them all free agency? I'll just sign all the ones in free agency. <laughs> I'll pick. Uh, I was prepared to vote for you, so I. You were gonna. Not it's fine. I don't have to. Uh, no, because it does say. It literally says fictional. The film stars Michael Jordan as a fictional version of himself. I wouldn't put it past Titus at edit that wikipedia page himself okay well let me let me throw one out there again i hate to tip a pick yeah, yeah. Mm. but i had a guy written down that is the exact same thing later and i might take him i might not but will smith as a basketball player in the fresh prince is he plays will smith but that's a fictional character right yeah it's I the think same principle I, no that plays more because even will smith was not will smith it he, was just an, he was just it was will smith playing will smith but it wasn't about it wasn't about the actor Will Smith. It was just like a uh-huh. fictional person with the same I name. I think somehow. I think I think here's the here's the hang up. I think Chief is under the impression that Space Jam was a true story. And I think he's, <laughs> he's like, yeah. I think I think a, he watched this and uh, uh, so I think it is I think, a, I, think it, I do believe in aliens. At one point <laughs> so, at one point they take they take Michael Jordan and they pull him back like a uh, slingshot yep. and they let him go and he flies around the gym. Mm-hmm. That that's pretty fictional. He got sucked into a golf hole. I, I don't know what happens in other dimensions, guys. I don't know what are happens. You, in it's uh, a weird gray area. area. I, I, that Wikipedia page is fucking me up a little bit. I'm not going to veto. I'm also not going to veto. So it's you two. I was hoping that I could just argue until Titus changed his wi- mind. Yeah, changed his withdrew. Mind. I don't think it's yeah. a good pick, though. 
No, it's an awesome pick. It's Michael Jordan. Why is it not a good pick? Because I think there are I'm other not characters know. from that exact movie you could have drafted ahead of them. Who, who would you have who, taken yeah, ahead of who, Michael Jordan? Who are you voting MVP yeah, Lola, in that game? Like, Lola, Lola Bunny? Lola Bunny? Dave wants yeah. to fuck Lola <laughs> Bunny. Yeah, she <laughs> is hot. <laughs> take her. There's no doubt about that. Dave's porn is like Kenny Powers fucking Lola Bunny. <laughs> Uh, it's back to me. I'm Send gonna... that to me, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's, there's a couple. Which one? Right, yeah. um, I'm going to go back to Adam Sandler. I'm going to take Bobby Boucher. Yeah. You're going. You're, you didn't go double Sandler, did you? No, Somebody no, else no, took. No, okay, no. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that Chief might have gone. If he was there in the third round, I was going to take him. Led the Mud Dogs to the Bourbon Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, Bobby Boucher? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last game of the season. <laughs> yeah. The only thing back now. Exactly. That, yeah, that was just. That was it. He was a wrecking ball. He was. He was a fucking wrecking ball. Yep. So, well, I, I stay, love what, the, They should have stayed like 59 sacks or something like that. It was crazy. Yeah, it was un incredible. I it like how they, in movies, when they don't give the stock, like the New York Sabres and the, with the fake jerseys, they actually use, they're playing like Iowa and Michigan. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than SCLSU, who was fake, mm -hmm. and the the other the, the other one was yeah. fake too. But in the highlights on Sports Center, I'm saying like the top yeah, 10. them playing Iowa is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. and they, they, the top one. and, and yeah. they play in a game that's like uh, seven seven or something yeah. like that. Yeah. They yeah. play a completely yeah. Iowa football yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> they put the Talboy in, and I swear it's not CGI. They actually sent a Talboy in to like run a slant over the middle just against a Big Ten team, and he just gets the cap. <laughs> he's just laying there. Such a fucking funny movie. And Bobby Boucher, he kills it. I love Should it. I take right. Lawrence Taylor in the next round from that movie? Yeah. Well, you could because he, I could. It's a fictional oh, version of himself. Because Lawrence Taylor also plays in any given Sunday, so you could have. I didn't. Not, I didn't yeah, not know that he either. does. All right, to me. Yeah, it's to you. Okay, let me go ahead and win this draft. <laughs> okay. Are you happy with what's left right now? Oh, I am. Was oh, your number two still there? I'm ecstatic. Okay. I have. I wrote down seven guys I thought were first round picks. Uh, three of them are still on the board. Oh, Whoa. Okay. okay. So uh, I will take right now uh, a young man named Daniel LaRusso, yeah. also known as the Karate Kid. That's who I will take right here. He came out of nowhere and shocked everybody at the 1984 All Valley Karate Championships and not only had a great movie franchise, but then came back 30 years later and just dropped a huge, great Netflix series on us or wherever that was. It ended up on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Karate Kid. So you're, you're, you're just like a big box office guy, like a big, like... like <laughs> Daniel LaRusso, like <laughs> Karate Kid. Did you just Google, like... No, I didn't. But this best, is Daniel LaRusso. That's right. what we all, all right. did, probably. Like just like Best fictional best, athletes ever. The best movie, sports movies. Are we doing... Are yeah. we saying the Karate Kid's not, not great? No, he's, he's good. He's good. He's yeah. a good pick, but I don't... Yeah. But I, like your Why are you taking shots at my? I just stood up for no, you. No, 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 no. I got I'm Michael Jordan. I don't, I don't like the basis of your argument where you're like they have a Netflix series for that. Like, that you're not even loyal to me that I pushed Michael Jordan. I just for don't you? like the. I don't like the basis of the argument. That's okay. all. Well, I it wasn't hear, the sole argument. I, I mean, Kid was a huge movie. Talk about how much of an ass kick, kicker he was. He was okay. There, that's now we have an argument. Not like they rebooted the franchise. Did y'all watch the, uh, the the recent show? First season. I, I didn't. Watched. No. I watched the first three or four. It's fantastic. Yeah, they, Cobra Kai, job. it's really good. They bring back a lot of people too, right? Everybody. Yeah. They bring back everybody, except yeah. for Mr. Miyagi. He's dead. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, they might bring him back eventually. I don't know. CGI him? Good. Hologram. DNA. Mm. Yeah. Call so, him. Right. I like the pick, though. I'm surprised you went there. I didn't know how it was going to go over. Huh? Really? Yeah. I've never seen the movie. I, I, really? I haven't seen it either. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I have also not seen the movie. Bro. It's You've seen Teen Wolf, but not Karate Kid. Correct. Uh, yes, because those are two different movies. So <laughs> one of them I did just watch, the other I didn't. Karate yeah. Kid was, a, I would argue, a bigger movie than Teen Wolf. I Both of them came out before I was born. I so would say like, Teen Wolf was on like Saturday morning TBS yeah. a lot more. That's yeah. where I saw it. Did you play the Nintendo game Karate Kid? I did not. No. no. Okay, all right. Well, Do you think hard. you could beat the Karate Kid in a fight? Yeah. Karate Kid also, at this point, it's one of those movies that I feel like I've already seen without having seen it. Wax you on, wax on. Yeah. Jaws yeah. is yeah. like that for me. I, yeah. I, I, I've, have you I've, ever seen Jaws? I, I, don't I have seen see it, it now. I, I, right. I watched it last week for the first time in full, but I knew I'd seen enough of it as yeah. a kid yeah. okay. where it felt like I'd watched it. Do you remember the, uh, we'll need a bigger boat? Did you, did you <laughs> see that one? Yeah. He's like, yeah. he's like no. hey. Yeah. yeah. We need a bigger boat. No, that's a very niche line from yeah. the movie. Yeah. And just to be clear, you don't want the Jaden Smith version? <laughs> I'm gonna go with da uh, Daniel Larusso. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, just I had hey, to ask. Ken Jack, if you're listening, <laughs> do the graphic the right way, please. All right, I'm going to. Uh, I, we're we're gonna march on, right? Mm -hmm. This is now. This is one for me. Okay, this is one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's Kevin Costner. 
and he is playing Crash Davis from Bull Durham. If you don't like the movie, you can kiss my fucking ass because it's an incredible movie. He's a great character, a 38-year-old minor leaguer hanging on for dear life, fucking a bunch of women. That's Crash Davis. That is my number three pick. Okay. I love it. That's a great pick. First round worthy for quick sure. Bat. Quick bat. Quick bat. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No, seen I, I believe Stop. in the yeah. cock, the Have pussy, the small of a woman's back. back. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is like an all-time movie speech. It's, it's uh, one yeah. of the best ever. Yep. All he, right. He did believe Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, though, and that's just mm -hmm. not true. Any people against this pick, Titus? If, what? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against the pick. Why no. would anybody be against this pick? Well, I'm not I just, against the pick. Titus no, no, no. been really jabbing. No, I, I, I also like. Have I you ever seen the movie? No, I haven't. But I also my my objections are. Um, I, I I don't feel good about how this is going to be received by the uh, audience. Well, it is what it is. I don't feel like I. I can also, you snuck you snuck a, a, a completely real guy into a fictional character debate. <laughs> That's what you did. Yeah. Again, I uh, we don't we don't need to revisit it, but uh, can't wait for your shoeless Joe Jackson pick next time around. <laughs> that would be fun. That would up. be next. Yeah. Um, all right. It's to me. Before I make my pick, I want to talk about Game Time, Brandon. They got a lot of ads. Like the, the Game too. Time app. Listen, we're gonna get you guys a discount here. Uh, the exclusive ticketing partner, Barcelona Sports. You can't watch these guys play, but you can watch the Cubs. You can watch mm -hmm. the White Sox. Uh, every other MLB city. Mm -hmm. Obviously, football's right around the corner. Concerts. Yeah. Shows, it, it's concert season. Comics. Uh, listen, you could find the lowest price drops closer to the game, closer to the event. It's all possible. The game time app, the biggest minute, the biggest last minute price drops are found there. Uh, it takes two seconds. It takes 10 seconds and two taps. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with your friends via text. so You can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the game time app or go to the website. Enter your email and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Uh, buy your tickets next Wednesday for the Cubs Sox game on Game Time. If you show us that you used our promo code and um, are at the game, I'll, we'll give you a prize at the tailgate. How about that? That's very generous of you. Yeah, we'll yeah. give you a prize. Yeah. Uh, one more time, download the Game Time app, go to the website, enter your email, redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. You know what? I'll, give you, thing I'll give you a prize, too. The prize is... Uh, Three pack of bacon from the trash can here at the uh, <laughs> Chicago. It office. might be a it Sorry. might be a burn brat by White Sox Dave in the parking lot, but right. it's a prize. It's a prize on the I don't yeah. burn shit on the grill. Oh, sorry. That's true. Um, all right, my next pick. I I don't think it's going to go over well because I don't know if it's not it's not a TV show or a movie, but this guy's a heavy hitter. Uh, it, I think I know where you're going. Taking a piece of literature. He's very fictional. It's Pablo Sanchez. That's from a Bank good pick. Baseball. That's a good pick. Yeah. That's a good pick, Ed. That's a great pick. That is outside pick. the box. Yeah. Box. That's a good pick. I can't say the word box. <laughs> the I was ultimate. combining box and pick. The ultimate leadoff. I get ahead of myself uh -huh. sometimes. <laughs> that's that's. I, I just got to say it. I think that's a phenomenal pick. Thank you. I I, I think I didn't think of video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most nope. of them are not fictional. Correct. But you chose one that is. Yeah. And that's that's a good pick. I I'm a little too old for the game, but I do know Same. the legend. Of yes. I never played it. Either. I never played it, but I know who he is. See, I yes. played it. He's a monster. He's the best leadoff hitter of all time. Okay. Just the best. God but, damn it, Ed. He's so fast. I know other – I don't know why I know – Keisha Phillips? Is she on yes. Backyard Baseball? He's, like, great a in every backyard, every, every yeah. generation yeah. of he everything. He just dominates everything? Yeah, he dominates he's like the Benny the Jet. He kind of is, yeah. He's a stud. He's, like, yeah. your first pick if you play Backyard Baseball. Yeah. Hmm. Him yeah. or Pete Wheeler. He's pretty good, too. Yeah, Pete Wheeler's good, yeah. Yeah, he's not bad. Country sure. boy. That's um, a great pick. Thank, Thank God you. I'm a country boy. Uh, White Sox, Dave. Or right, Titus, sorry. Oh, I was I'm going to say. Okay. Oh, uh, Jesus, here we go. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal and Shaq Fiddle. Actually, you have blue and, chips. And, and, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I actually don't think it's that controversial to pick Michael Jordan, as a, who's very clearly it, playing a fictionalized area. version of himself. It's not a gray area at all. Michael he, Jordan asked himself. He Brian sold me at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's like not even... I, I don't think it's even a little bit of a debate, but whatever. That's I okay. just took your we side because yeah, I felt I like White Sox Dave would be on the other side. Um, <laughs> my pick not. again. I to reiterate. Uh, I was going up for pure domination, athletic domination, just like accolades. This this man wins everything. It just fucking dominates everything. Uh, don't love the movies. Don't care about the franchise that much. But Lightning McQueen from Cars. It's pretty good too. The, <laughs> This man or this he car, does. he dominates. Do he wins every fucking race over the course of three movies. 
the one the one cup that he doesn't win is in like the first movie when he's at the finish line. If he you remember, chooses not to win, breaks yeah. at the finish line, stops. What a and, pussy. Uh, over like the course of ten years, he wins like eight piston cups. Wins mm-hmm. like the world grand prix. Uh, he wins everything. He wins literally everything, and he does it over the course of three movies and video game franchises and everything else. So again, I'm not even really that big of a cars guy. I think I don't even know if I've seen all the movies. Um, seen the first one. Supposedly two is abysmal. You cannot deny the greatness of Lightning McQueen though. So that's why I, I Cars Three is really good. Cars Two is one of the worst movies I've ever made. So I heard it's like a spy movie or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, this is a savvy pick because if like the ten year olds on Twitter find this, they might juice your poll here. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that's like gonna be. I've never a big, seen any of the cars. That's either. gonna be a big vote getter. That, what have you watched? There, are many movies. Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Yeah. You, you just saw Jaws for the first time. You saw that is true. That's that true. Is, yeah, true. That's you saw true. Jaws for the first time. You but it, you I, I had seen enough of it where I knew I'd watched it. Uh, there's plenty of movies like that for me. Name one. Uh, Monsters Inc. Never seen it, but I've seen it without seeing it. I don't think that's true. That I don't know if Monsters Inc. That's that's just, doesn't rise to the level. Of that I've seen enough. Monsters of it Inc. Doesn't okay. So Jaws is a movie. If I, I can defend Brandon, Jaws is kind of like if you haven't seen the movie, you get it. There's a shark. They gotta right. kill the shark. That's kind of it. That you, you should see it. Monsters Inc. I don't think you can just like watch GIFs. like one GIF and <laughs> that, like so figure out what the plot the is. Reason, of Monsters the Inc. reason the reason why I said yeah, Monsters Inc. because I had never seen Cars, <laughs> and that's like those are the two Pixar movies I haven't seen. Yeah. Of, or, how did or, you not see Cars? How, how, like if you I, saw The Incredibles and you saw Bugs Life, you saw all these. Every uh, single person you not has cars? that movie that the entire planet has seen that you haven't seen. Yours recently. No, I, I, no mine right now is Pulp Fiction. I've never seen it. There, think, there's another one. What, I think, what do you I think, watch, it's, I think it's fine to not seen Monsters Inc. I just I don't think having I don't think you could say you've seen the movie without seeing it. it doesn't feel Correct. like <laughs> okay. it doesn't feel like a that, movie. That's where, crazy. I <laughs> also I also explained why it was in my head. Um, honestly. <laughs> On that same note, I have never watched Shawshank Redemption start to finish, and it's one of my favorite movies. I've seen every <laughs> single part of it. 1, I understand 000, this because that's it's on TV that answer, much. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen. I've seen the start of it in the first half of it. I've seen the second half of it I'm, in completion. I, the I've exact never watched same it. way with Rudy. I, I oh really? I've seen. I think I might have what? seen Rudy in totality once, but mostly. I join in about 15, 20 okay. minutes late every time, and then you watch. I it. watch it yes. from here on out. Right. So you've seen his buddy blow up, Pete. I'm, I've probably seen his buddy blow up one time. Yeah, that's like a very missable part. I, I think the beginning of Shawshank is missable too. When that's how yeah. I'm gonna when when people ask me to describe why sucks, Dave, I'm gonna say his his favorite <laughs> movie, one of his favorite movies, he's never actually seen. People who know will understand. Yeah, yeah people will be like, oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it checks out. Yeah. But I've seen that movie. I like, think every part of it a thousand times. I, just I never think it's on Amazon Prime right now. Also for free. But I don't need to. Turn it on also, we can't look over the local politics themes in Jaws. You said it's just a shark biting people. There's a lot. Yeah, I mean, of it is, it's Amity worth, is a summer city. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, the, yeah. the mayor doesn't like you know. I, just, I would just argue that the if you were to describe the plot of Monsters Inc., it would probably be a little bit more elaborate than describe Jaws. the plot. <laughs> nah, yeah, <laughs> not even gonna try. Yeah, try That's your so best. <laughs> It's a bunch of monsters and they run around doing monster stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they incorporate. There's that one yeah. guy that yeah. has the hairy armpits that holds his eyes with his hands above his head. That's all real monsters. Yeah, that's all yeah. real. That's <laughs> not that guy though. Yeah. Yeah. That's the 1990s yeah, no. cartoon. Yeah. Just mixed up him and Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're up, Dave. Uh, okay, so I was talking about how I aspire to be Kenny Powers one day. I'll actually probably end up being this guy. Just miserable with a fucking couple of shithead kids and a asshole wife that nags all day. Al Bundy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, good pick. Good pick. Al Bundy is one of my favorite fucking guys ever. That is a good pick. I That's like that pick. four touchdowns, yeah, one game, touchdowns and pull guy. He's got the. He's he's got. Does that qualify one to be an athlete that he played high school football? I yeah, I think on, that is that's nitpicking too he's much. He's a shoe salesman. I think if you play high school football, you are a certified athlete. He yeah. did score four <laughs> touchdowns in a single game. Did it, you, <laughs> was that ever? Was he ever in uniform on camera? Yes. Okay. Plenty of times. Okay. Yeah. All right. He had a couple times where he threw the old Polkai uniform on. Okay. Do you see that Polkai uniform at like Bears games and stuff? Okay. Do you think was he was the four touchdown performance noteworthy because it was a rarity or because? It was just like no, one, that's, one, it was the tip of the iceberg that's of his, his greatness. You know what class I mean? hero like yeah. moment. That was his link to greatness. That, yeah, that was yeah. his one moment in the sun. That was his one moment. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, it's, you know, I don't. That's a big day. No, that's a huge. That's a day. great game, yeah. but it's like, you know, like is that if, if yeah? I don't him, know. Him I think I scored six touchdowns my whole high school career. He got that two thirds of that. In you one just game. wanted to slide that in, huh? Mm-hmm. 
that's not a lot. What, what that's was pretty good? Not a bad season. What, what was like the best in my touchdown? entire career? Walk us through yeah, the best I played touchdown. two years. Your uh, I had like a <laughs> seventy-yard <laughs> punt return for a touchdown. No shit. Against Glombard East High School. Like you, 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 you're running through dudes. You juking and honestly, juking them, spin moves. What are and we talking? this isn't because of me. But yeah. my team was so good that a lot of times you just got the ball and any asshole on planet Earth could have scored. Mm. We we would also set up the wall along the sideline. Mm. So if you could get to that wall, you were gone. Is there a film of this? I am scouring the earth for my high school and middle school specifically. You should probably just go to your high school. I really asked my coach, earth. Ryan. I know his coach. Well, this is, you, you, this is JV, which still not taking away accomplishments. <laughs> the freshman saw. They don't really keep tapes. They don't keep <laughs> no, tapes. No, they, they, they tape they over do. themselves. Yes. They do. Not really. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, no, yes, no, no. Your biggest highlight is now they a girls' do. volleyball game. They'll we would watch tape of ourselves after <laughs> sure, every single game. Sure, I know. And there's, yeah. I know. But they're at all. This juncture, you're gonna have to talk to Mary Those Kate's aren't parents. ones they sit. So, Those are, so is yeah. this, you're saying they're not locked in a vault? We know <laughs> all the varsity ones. Yes, they, that's. I, there's every varsity game yeah. probably since I, they've been able to do that. JV my, freshman, no. My buddy Ryan has. Uh, he has all our middle school tapes still, like VHS tapes. Well, it seems like you should just go to your buddy Ryan. I haven't talked to him in so like eight years. So was this freshman or, or JV, the punter? His wife doesn't like Dave. Uh, freshman. <laughs> Checks <laughs> out. <true>. Yeah. <laughs> and that is true. Yeah. Can you call she, Ryan now? She doesn't let me hang out with him. Be like, hey, can I get the tapes? If you haven't or our him? other friends. It's not just me. How do you, how do you know Ryan still has the tapes? <laughs> His parents do, because we used to watch him and like be like, oh, look how awesome we were. Yes, that's when you were still kids. They're at his parents' house and everything. Okay. So it's not. Feels like you could just go to his parents. Though. We gotta get these I tapes. Could. We gotta get these yeah. tapes. We've you been guys talking about it for years. You guys would laugh because you'd be like, "That is not the same guy." No, I think it would be like I'd it's laugh. exactly can I, the same guy. Question: Can I because uh, can I draft White Sox Dave in his head <laughs> <laughs> as a fictional? <laughs> athlete? Can I draft the White Sox yes. Dave that exists in his own head? Walker from high two. school. <laughs> no. I didn't say anything. What? Because that guy's an oh, all-time you're battle. not maybe not in this moment you didn't, but you're all fucking. Oh, I'm the best at this. I'm the best at that. Well, I am. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Chief. All right. Speaking of kick returns, I'm taking an all-American from Alabama. I'll take Forrest Gump. That's a great pick. So. I feel like people have started to shit on this movie a little too much for my liking. I think they've circled back around almost. It's it's getting what do you nickelbacked. Mean? I I it Forrest Gump did get nickelbacked. Yeah. And people think it's cool to shit on Forrest Gump, but I think right. now that the the era of them shitting on it has circled back to people appreciating okay, it. Okay, good. I think cuz it is a great movie. It's, it's a, a great movie. movie. Might not have been Oscar worthy in that particular year. Shawshank was in that I, year. I I disagree. I think, I think it, Park it, it was fine. No, no, no. It was it no. was pulp fiction, it was Shawshank oh, yeah, and it was yeah. Forrest Gump. Yeah. Um but I I think it was fine as the That's best picture winner. Trio right there. I, I yeah, 94. 94 is powerhouse year for, yeah. for movies. But I I I like the movie Forrest Gump. I've seen that movie. We took like a road trip across the country one time. I think I probably watched Forrest Gump on VHS like seven eight times over the course of like two weeks. My problem is it's such a minuscule part of the movie. That's why I don't think it's that ultra great marathoner play. as well. Ah, uh, that's true. That's so also he's, true. He's yeah, thank you, Titus. Dual yeah. athlete. Yeah, if yeah. You really think you just about felt it. Like Do you it think too. you yeah. could run faster than me, Brandon? <laughs> Do I have a runoff? Do you want to have a runoff? I don't think I could run faster than you. Not now. Peak Brandon against peak you. Can we do? I no, like can we get a local run. high school to set up some punt returns oh. practice oh. and you two both field punt returns? Well, we I would have said we could have just gone down the street to Northwestern University, but I don't <laughs> think they are um, too worried about the content game right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't think you want to run through that gauntlet. That no, the, uh, yeah, we, know. we get a little soapy think. and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get you know dicks out. I was with boys? a couple of uh, my buddies at Northwestern over the weekend and hazing each other. I was giving them a lot of car wash jokes. Mm. Like, mm. they set themselves up for Were life, you right? naked? No, I was very clothed. Mm. 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 It's mm. disappointing. Mm. Forrest Chief. Gump's a good pick, Chief. Thank good you. Pick. That's, a, that's a good one. I like I, that pick. I didn't even think about the ultra marathon, so I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so it's to me again. Was it an ultra marathon? The motherfucker ran across the country three times. That's you, you say that like that's an like ultra a thing that like, 100 miles. I, I understand that. that. Like, I feel like calling it an ultra marathon is almost insulting to what he did. Oh, like he's even better than yeah, ultra he marathon. ran across the country. Yeah, and he just never stopped running. Just never stopped running Unlo yeah. unless he goes hungry. When he unless, felt and, like and then he just decided it, yeah. it was time to I'll, stop. I'll go home now. Yeah, and not he's not a very bright guy, but he did decide to go home when he was like in Arizona. Or Utah. Yeah. He's like yeah, in the desert. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'm going to go back to this Alabama now. It's fucking hot. <laughs> the air is thin I'm and dry. I'm tired of running. Yeah. I don't think that was a line for a movie. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. 
He's <laughs> just. He's like, I'm done. I, with I've running. grown tired of running. Yeah. So I don't want to. This run is not anymore. really something that's on my Man. agenda right now. I, my <laughs> list is kind of still very long. Um, I'll. Fuck. I'll take bigger and McCracken. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You got, you got a problem, Dave? Dave, would you like to talk about Bigger and McCracken? I, would like I to almost want to take him just for the gif. Like the gif with the hair. <laughs> the ball. Yeah. Legendary. It, it's He is an all-time kind of villain side oh character. Oh, my God. Is he good? Big Earn. So, yeah, I'm thrilled to have Big Earn in the fourth. I feel like that's tremendous value, Bigger and McCracken. And Big Earn McCracken. <laughs> and th there's a commercial that... Um, that uh, Roy's watching one. He's in a restaurant or something, and and earns on the commercials for like you got to donate money to kids in Africa or something. And there's a family on it, and he's just fucking caressing this the mom's <laughs> yeah, ass yeah. and like getting all feely. He is the fucking perfect, perfect side villain in a comedy. He's great. It's like that is like a cult, cult classic. Why do you got sugar back there, Mister McCracken? <laughs> Didn't I tell you to call me Earn? I don't, Earn. I don't know which Ferrelli brother chose that name, but it could be one of the most perfect names. Yeah, that's a history. great name. Yeah, it's those guys are fucking geniuses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they are. are truly geniuses. Is that how you say the brothers' names? I always say Ferrelli. Ferrelli. Ferrelli? Yeah. I thought it was Ferrelli. Ah, uh, Ferrelli. Farley. Ferrelli. The Ferrelli brothers. I always said Ferrelli, but I'm sure it? I'm wrong. F A R R E L L Y. Ferrelli. L Y. Yeah. Ferrelli. Ferrelli. Ferrelli? It looks like Ferrelli to me. I think to, to be Ferrelli, that Y needs to be an I. I think it's Ferrelli. Fairly. Fairly. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly. I feel like there needs to be an I. I think in interviews it's how I've heard after the A. I don't think anybody actually knows, and everybody's kind of just has their I own. I think somebody and, knows. I mean, <laughs> somebody out there knows how to say the name. Their dad might know. Everybody says it differently, but nobody corrects anybody because nobody knows how to say I've it. I've never heard anybody not say it fairly. I say really? Farrelly. I've always said uh, Farrelly, too. The Farrelly brothers. Yeah. Farrelly's. But I've heard fairly. I've heard Farley. Well, Farley just doesn't work. I, I, I think Far, I, I think when I was a kid, I thought it was Farley. I thought it was like Chris Farley. I thought, I, I, I but his name is spelled completely differently. Yeah, I was a child, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon was nine clicking. years old. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. Um, then he just picked. Fuck. No, oh, he, he was just mad that I yeah, took his that's pick. Right. Yeah. God damn it. There's so much left on the. I know, so but I wanted much. him because I love him. He's a little pervert. Also. <laughs> um. I'll go Roy Hobbs. Mm. Fuck it. It's a good pick. Solid kind of, pick. It's kind of a boring movie. Though. It's a boring movie. It is. It's yeah. such a bo people f absolutely love that movie. I think it's fine. The book is way better. That's one of the only times I'll You've ever. You've certainly say that. never read the book. We have. We had a class my senior year of high school called baseball and literature, and we were we had to read it. Um, you you had a class in yes high school my senior year called baseball and mm -hmm. literature mm -hmm. at your high school yes. How? Uh, huh? That's quite the class. You it was awesome. Yeah. What it was else? Fantastic. Did you read? Uh, it's actually based on King Arthur. If you didn't know that. Um, but Roy Hobbs, obviously, what he was. I think you're saying that wrong. I don't think it's King Arthur, is it? King Arthur, yes. The book the is based Excalibur. The bat could be yeah. Like the bats can, the bats Excalibur. That, I've never heard that before, but that makes sense to me. Well, how do you how do you say King Arthur? It's no, not not King. He's not saying King Arthur wrong. I'm just saying I I don't know if it's based on motif. King Arthur. You don't you think can, the bat could be Excalibur, the sword and the stone? I, I think it probably could be. Look it up. The natural um, Shakespeare. That's what I want to look up. <laughs> Although I thought Shakespeare was uh, tied to the natural, not that King Arthur. You know, I just Arthur. totally fucked this up. Uh, uh, nevertheless, but Roy Hobbs. You want to draft best good, athletes? Yeah. He was a fucking. Yeah. He was good Mickey match. Mantle. Was he also good, missed his entire prime. That's fine. Mm. He was still the best when he played. Mm. 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 All right, Titus. Oh boy, um, you out? Spark Notes does say that King Arthur and uh, the it natural. Is? Okay, linked, yes. it's very good, very good. <laughs> uh, Point to you, Dave. Thank I you. think God, the room's gonna fucking hate this pick. Well, I think you're already. Did you just read the it. Spark Notes in high school? Or did you? No, I read the book. I actually did okay. read the book. All right. But when you brought up Spark Notes, I knew that question was coming. <laughs> and I was like hoping I could avoid it. <laughs> um, all right. This is this is same family for me as Lightning McQueen where uh I'm I'm not exactly 
saying I'm a huge fan of the franchise or anything else. I did read the books, saw saw the movies, but like I forget most of the shit that happened in all of them. Um, but Harry Potter has to be my pick <laughs> in terms of pure dominance. That pick fucking sucks. <laughs> I knew the room would hate it. Uh, for Quidditch, for for, well, for well, what else would it be for? For well, literally for everything, fucking the, every baseball? every competition this man participated in, in Quidditch and uh, the the fucking House Cup that they like Gryffindor wins every single he he just like Lightning McQueen Harry Potter was every single thing this man competed in he won he was also saving the world at the same time like he's in these Quidditch matches and like. They're trying to kill him. They're trying to literally kill him as he's playing, and he's also winning the Quidditch match while also like fighting off the Mentors and also like Voldemort. I don't. I don't remember. The I just want to do a uh, brief recap of your picks. A werewolf. Domination. A, a, a werewolf. A domination. A cartoon Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. A cartoon car. And a wizard. And a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> Those are your four picks. I picked four dudes that absolutely fucking dominated in a, in a way that... <laughs> these were all on your big your, your list yeah. of seven? That's what I said. I put okay. a list together, and I was like, these guys, if you actually watch the movies, watch the... If you actually consume the content, the dom, the, the, the displays of domination from all of these people is, is absurd. It's undeniable. Titus, you're not wrong. It's all up to interpretation. That's what, that was my interpretation. I was like, yeah. I'm trying to find like the most dominant fictional athletes that have ever existed. And Harry Potter, like I said, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I, I, he, I he wins the Triforce Cup, whatever. They stopped doing it <laughs> I after he wins. Uh, he, he won everything, and he was banging his best friend's sister the whole time. Was he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's saving the world. Like the Ron guys. They, the didn't, guys. they didn't really play anybody, though. <laughs> Schedule is <laughs> fucking soft. That is true. Yeah. Just a lot of Hufflepuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Slytherin. No, I, I, I've, never, I've never seen a second okay. of a hair. You know who kind of looks like Draco Malfoy? I kind of stink. You know who looks like him? Who, who would you say that looks a like? A lot of people. Oh. Like an old version of Draco you do have Malfoy? A little, you do have a little, like your, your Malfoy is like alcoholic brother or something, you know? <laughs> like, that like didn't amount to shit. Yeah. And he's just, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the fact that no matter who you compare me to, it was going to be didn't amount to shit. <laughs> no, you're like Roy Hobbs' cousin who didn't amount to shit. <laughs> um... No, Harry Potter. There was a pick that I didn't want to make, but like I, I was staring at it over and over, and I was like, I can't deny this. This kid's greatness. He, uh, he, he yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I don't love the pick, and I know the audience isn't gonna love the pick, but I don't care. I think they are gonna love. The yeah, pick. strength of totally. schedule. Just I don't. I don't bad. care. The domination yeah. that he displayed throughout seven books was it six? I don't remember. Um, you do. Yeah. It is kind of like White Sox Dave bragging about his middle school football. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. That is true. It was like <laughs> in a very. <laughs> He so was like, doing when this. Harry in Potter school. was eleven. He was unstoppable. Also, one thing I wanted to mention before I forget in my um, notes, I stumbled upon Charlie Sheen took steroids for Major League. I just found that out now. <laughs> wow, being an actor would rule. That you pick just, was three rounds just, ago, Dave. I understand, but I needed to say that. Wouldn't it be awesome it to awesome. be an actor and just do whatever the fuck you want and say it's for a role? You're just like, yeah, we I'm, do let them. They do, just do whatever they yeah. want. Oh, yeah. oh Jared I did. Leto hung out in a crack house for like months on end for research. Like, I did horse you know, steroids for three months just so I could look like this just, for a week. Yeah, yeah that's it's crazy. Crazy. Wait, who's who were we talking about yesterday doing a cycle with? Chaps. chaps. Oh yeah, yeah. chaps. Yeah. Chaps. I'm chaps is it. real. I know. Well, okay. I'm going to do a cycle with chaps for content. All right, sounds fun. <laughs> Don't fuck that's with me, Brandon. I will be roid rage through the fucking gills. And that's I how will the uh, uh, have loose uh, fists. Icarus. That's how that documentary started. Do you, you see that? The, I the, saw the, that. The, that was that was yeah. like the start of that documentary. Right? Like the guy was like, "I'm going to do steroids yeah. and try to win bicycle races." Yeah. And then it, did he win an Oscar for best documentary? I think or he they did. won a lot of fucking yeah. awards. So I there heard you that's go. a great doc. It Oscar is, winner White Sox good. Dave. He's just going to start. Yeah. Have y'all seen the documentary of the all drug uh, Tour de France? No, no. With uh, Andy Samberg and those guys. Oh, no, the the uh, yeah, that's the mockumentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was not real. That no, wasn't real. That but wasn't, it's still, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> so, it's real. so good. That was fictional. Is it serious? If you haven't watched it out there, you need to watch it. Yeah. I should have drafted him. Tour to drugs or something. Tour to pharmacy. Yeah, they did yeah. like a tennis one too, right? That's yes. fantastic. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Who's that? All right. It's to me. I'm between two people in the same movie. I like them both a lot. I like one more, but the other one's probably more legendary. I think I'm, I know where you're going. I'm going to take the more legendary one. It's, oh. it's Billy Bob. Billy Bob from, from Varsity, Varsity Blues? Blues yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, I thought you meant Billy Bob from. I thought you. I thought you coach. meant Billy Bob. Oh no, yeah. I'm taking Billy Bob. Billy, I mean. Oh, that's yeah. a great pick. Yeah. Yeah. Great P pick. Puke yeah. in the dryer. Called dinosaurs. Played hurt. Yep, mm -hmm. sure did. Played hurt. A little stupid. 
A little stupid, little yeah, dumb. but you know no, he's the perfect. He is the offensive lineman from oh, the movie. Oh, he has you think he of. has a quarterback's back through and through. Yep. Yeah, the problem with Billy Bob is drink the, syrup is the problem with Hollywood. They never know how to really cast offensive linemen. They make them too big. Yeah, yeah. Billy Bob would not have been able. He would he have sucked. Move. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't move. He might have been able to be a D tackle. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah like just like a, a spacey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just but a to Ted be fair, tech. There's some big boys that are in high school. I don't like think that. they're this big. Not he was that huge. Big, yeah. yeah, he was. He was. He was a cut above. Yeah, but everything's I mean, bigger in movies. You're running tan. A, yeah, yeah tan. 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 The tan. Tan. Classic line. Yes. <laughs> yes. He goes to prom with the teacher. Yes. You yeah. know the thing about that movie, Allie Larder gets a lot of credit for the whipped cream bikini, right? Yeah. But Amy Smart's just right over here. I love. 100. I love. She Amy had Smart. a a quick moment where she was every bit as like yeah. hot you ever as seen outside now. providence i haven't because i'm okay. a nerd <laughs> wow road trip she was great she was naked scrubs. In road she trip, was in right? scrubs yeah. oh yeah she was she naked, was naked yeah. in road trip. that goddamn right she yeah, was she was so. billy bob all right i, I love billy bob he's got <laughs> yeah. a, a the, great name the pet too. pig yeah, yeah pet i pig. love that so dog. you were <laughs> the choices were moxon or him no. or teeter tweeter 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 was my other pick teeters from yellowstone yeah yeah tweeter's awesome um all right so I get to close my draft out. Mm-hmm. So I basically look how many I have. I, I I have an entire board to myself. Okay, I feel like I got to get a basketball one. Mm. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go Jesus Shuttlesworth, mm. Ray Allen. He mm-hmm. got game. It kind of goes again. I'm gonna leave somebody on the board that I don't want to leave on the board, but that's fine. Uh, Jesus Shuttlesworth, Ray Allen. He got game. Um, the assistant coaches scene was incredible. Is that how recruiting was for you? It was the exact same. Yeah, <laughs> just go exactly in. like that. Three sums. Yes. Yeah. Meet, meet the, the assistant coaches. Here's yes. two porn stars. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how I got recruited. Yes. And then I'm going to go. Uh, Big state. Where my last pick, uh, I'm going to go with um, somebody who pisses excellent. Uh, somebody who wakes up and dominates. I'm going to go with Ricky Bobby, a NASCAR driver. Mm. Will Ferrell. I don't know if you guys. Have Dave, heard. the Dave, floor is yours. Dave, the floor is absolutely yours. What? 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 What happened? I just don't like Will Ferrell when he's the lead in most of his movies. You don't like that's, Anchorman? That's the softest you've Anchorman's, ever gone. Anchorman's yeah. pretty good. Are you afraid of Brandon Walker? No, I'm not. I okay, just, hold I'm, on. Let's, let's talk. Because I understand Will Ferrell is... Okay, is, the is soccer not, movie, absolutely stinks. fucking horrible. It's called Kicking and Screaming, and yeah. it's um, not great. The ice skating movie, absolutely fucking horrific. It's not horrific. It's, it's fine. It's fucking horrific. Uh, Talladega um, Nights is pretty good. Elf is Okay. I think Elf sucks. I Elf like is Elf. I, okay. I, like, I, I like Elf. I Elf is Elf. Elf, Elf is Elf is a great Elf's movie. Elf is good. Elf is a great movie. Elf. Little Nicky is good and Elf is bad is what you're. you're right. I haven't seen Little Nicky in twenty years though. Anchorman is fantastic. <laughs> Anchorman's pretty good. Um, you shit I, I, on I will, Anchorman before. It's. I don't think it's. A, I do think. Um, Step Brothers is like old school. Uh, that's not him as a lead. He's perfect as like. Shit, Ash, hold on. Hold on. Ash, shit, on shit on Step Brothers. Shit on I, Step Brothers. I don't think it's like the greatest comedy ever. Like it's some pretty people. awesome. It's it's a top five comedy since two thousand in the last twenty three years. I'm I understand I'm the outlier. I don't think it's that funny. You're going. You ever seen soft. the other guys? Soft. The other guys laugh out loud funny. That is the exception to the rule for me. That movie is so fucking. And I hate Wahlberg too. All right, well, now I hate Wahlberg too. Do you consider his uh, SNL tenure? Oh, great, fantastic. Okay, right. fantastic. But when he's the side, like Ashley Schaefer, um, oh, uh, Frank great. the Tank. From old school, mm-hmm. um, the guy in Wedding Crashers, Magatu and or Wedding Crashers, yep. Chaz Michael Michael, uh, when he's like got his little cameos and, and side appearances, one of the best to Isn't do. Isn't Chaz Michael Michael from the movie you don't like? No, wait, who's Chaz uh, Michael Michael's from the ice skating movie? What's, yeah, it's Chaz. It's Char- Chaz is Wedding Crashers. Chaz. Uh, yeah, I think he's Chaz twice. He's Chaz twice. Then that's what it is. Yeah. Chaz. Oh really? <laughs> yes, he's it's, he is Chaz in, in Wedding Crashers too. Though. Yeah. What about uh, you don't like Semi Pro, the basketball movie? Can't stand it. That's a good movie. That. Can't stand it. Movie. Cannot That's stand it. it. All right. Well, what, but why, why I like Ricky Bobby as a pick. What can't we stay? I, I, never mind. I just think can, it's, it's like, like, for instance, here's something I'll shit on about uh, Step Brothers. The scene towards the end of the movie when the like uh, playground bullies make him bend down and eat the, the dog the shit. The white dog shit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually puppy chow, which is delicious, ironically enough. Mm. Damn, but, um, that wasn't real? Damn. Well, That's crazy. You needed you, that to be real to like the movie? <laughs> But the tits on the head. You could suspend belief. <laughs> but it's that's <laughs> that movie's not supposed t- to be suspending belief. It's supposed to be like a real thing. <laughs> it's forty three year old guys who are living. I know what beds. the movie is. <laughs> they got bunk beds. They're living like they're six year old kids. Yes, that doesn't happen. 
I'm so happy. Now, there are funny, there are lines What's, that make me crack the fuck up, like the Johnny Hopkins line. You need realism you, from this do movie. Do you know how... So, from a comedy that aims to be like, yes, yeah, usually I do. I think, and I think, and I'm not, I'm not a movie critic, but I think <laughs> what most Will Ferrell movies are trying to accomplish is create a level of absurdism. Yeah, I don't absurdity think, in a real I would, definitely, I would definitely. say that, yeah. And I think a lot of them strike out big time. They do for me personally. Some of them, the other guys, I gave that movie a chance after I had this debate with the entire internet. I'm like, I'll give it a fair shake. That movie is fucking hysterically funny. I think funny. when the anchor crews fight each other and you know someone throws a trident through, I don't think they were going for like, <laughs> this is how local news That's not funny to me. That's not funny um, to me. I'm sorry. I'm so happy this is your life now. Like the pop, the what is it? The death so pop? Happy. And uh, other guys? I, I, what do they call it when they shoot the ceiling? I've, best, on, yeah, I've, right? only, I've, I've only yeah, seen yeah. that one like twice. Yeah. I've okay. Obviously, never happens. I laughed out loud. That one, it was like touch them all. That movie was great. The other ones, a lot of them. The don't little, do it for the me. little tuna lion monologue, and and um, yeah, you know, that wasn't funny to you. That didn't mm. play for you. And uh, that's in the other guys, right? The other guys, yeah. yeah. That didn't play for you. Uh, yeah. I I've only seen it a few times, so okay. I'm. But typically, his movies when he's the lead, I do. But you remember, don't like the Ricky Bobby pick? No, I'm not. No, it's it's. You can shit on my pick. It's okay. Quit being a pussy. It's and a shit on fifth it. round pick, and I think everybody loves it. So I know I realize I'm the outlier here. I realize that. I gotta tell you, I, I think have, this is the first time you've ever realized that you're the outlier. Yeah. Remind, I've said for this, anything. Remind I've said me how this, good how good of a driver was Ricky Bobby. Oh, he was the best. Did, didn't he have like the mental? He, he had a, a breakdown. Like, yeah, he yeah. had the yips. He was winning every race. He either right. finished first or last because he would flame out. Mm -hmm. uh, but he won a lot of races, and then he had the mental thing. But he came back and he won his last did he, race. He came, he came back. He came and back won? and won. Yeah. Well, did he win? Because they did that stupid kiss at the end, where they ran. They, I don't they, remember if he won. Remember they raced one. on yeah. they raced on foot. Yeah. Yes. It was a bad right. ending. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad ending. <laughs> Eddie fucked my whole world up. I had a good plan today, and then he threw the video game. I've written down King Hippo and Bald Bull. G Jesus Shuttlesworth was a good pick. Yeah, I like Jesus. The, the they governor, didn't react to Jesus Shuttlesworth. I didn't really like no. that. I don't think that's a good movie, and I don't really like that pick. He wasn't like a good character. Denzel carried that whole movie. Dave also hates Denzel. Well, Denzel, I don't hate Denzel. We don't, Chief. We don't need to do that. We don't. I've need heard Chief. his Denzel take, and I'm not. We're not diving we into that. We don't need to do because that because you don't have the ability to for, think with a boys, clear mind. For an for an actor, for a basketball player in his only movie, I thought Ray Allen was pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, better than Jesus. a lot of basketball yeah. players are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great name too. Yeah, great yeah. name. I think he was Denzel's Jesus Shuttlesworth was so good that the governor was. I guess maybe he wasn't, because in the end he kind of like reneged on the deal, didn't he? But well, the governor's are just a shithead. Though. It's shithead. Yeah. But, he, but, but he, the idea that a governor would like let a guy who was a convicted let murderer a murderer go yeah. go all for college basketball recruiting speaks to how good Jesus Shuttlesworth I, is. That would happen a, in Kentucky. A, that, would, yeah. that, that would absolutely happen in Kentucky. John Calipari would would pull some <laughs> strings can't. and get a five stars. Dad. Get a murderer off uh, out, out of prison. That actually did happen so, in Louisville. What? Calipari. A murderer? Or not Calipari. Uh, Patino? Patino? That was strippers. Hookers, that wasn't murderers. Those strippers. That yeah, was different. Stripping is different. Stripping and murdering are different. But it's hookers and strippers and, and murder, that's like all... That's you think like that's an, all eternity? That's, that's like, no. No, I'm saying if, you, <laughs> if, you're, a hooker, if you're a hooker, it's murder... A, it's a slippery slope. Right, right. Murder yeah. is Guys, not what are we going to do tonight? We're going to do hookers, strippers, murder? It's one of those three. I'm saying if you're a hooker, murder and getting shot in the face by a pimp or someone you know a, a, a bad customer is just an occupational hazard so they all kind of go hand how in familiar hand. are you with hooking never got one but i do know that hookers die a lot you got to roll them up in the carpet <laughs> hookers, and hookers do be dying <laughs> <laughs> all right back to me yeah. um i got two waiting for me on a t just on a t hmm. uh, i'm gonna take one of them i i don't know which one Fuck it! I'm. I, I love the movie. I, I'm gonna take an Air Bud. It. This is the most disingenuous. <laughs> pick yeah. In no, it is not. Uh, it no, it is not. I don't like this pick either. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? It's a about goddamn it? dog. It's a dog which you hate. You don't like. Not the, true. You Are, don't like. The when's movie? the last time you saw Air Bud? Flush the movie? this out for me. Uh, yeah. Is it Air Bud just in the original Air Bud? Are we talking Air Bud? Just just basketball Air Bud. Okay. Golden yeah. receiver, seven Golden inning fetch. Because yeah, I actually think if you go if you go the full gamut, you have a better case of him being you know an a, a multi sport athlete. But as a basketball player, he was it, he was he was great. He had to be set up. Dude, he had to I be would, set up. He was I one dimensional. Swatted the shit out of all of his shots. Yeah, nobody yeah. did. He took down the he, he helped the Warriors. That's bad very coaching. one dimensional though. Yeah. He, he couldn't really yeah. do much else. Can't create his own than, shot. Yeah. He beat Larry. Yeah. Couldn't defend at all. His jag off dad. 
Oh, he could defend. He was a great steel machine. What are you talking he about? He did have a couple. I don't know. Yeah, I never yeah. watched the goddamn movie. Steel machine. I, I, you would love you, Brandon. Why, Brandon, you would why love this movie. Why do you say this Ask me any question about the movie. You hate dogs. That's that's just not true. <laughs> that's just not true. You don't love dogs, which means you hate dogs. There's As, no gray area. Air Bud, I would have loved for him to be my point guard. Like that's uh, he didn't say Air, Air, Air Bud would come up to you for a kiss after the game. He'd be like, ah, I'm good. Well, yeah, I'll Thanks. kiss my teammates. Yeah, well, it's a dog. You wouldn't pet. I think you Air, wouldn't pet Airbud. Airbud's a good you movie. Would, you wouldn't let Airbud in the Tesla to drive home. Yes, I would. No, you I wouldn't. just told no. you I had a golden retriever in my car a month ago, two months ago. In the Tesla? Yes, I literally told that you story on the podcast. Detailed. No, I told the story, so after. I would of course have Airbud in the car. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, 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 we're not would, done ripping on you. Yet. I would give him vanilla pudding till his fucking yeah. I, I, I sore. think it's uh, I think it's a disingenuous. No, it's not disingenuous at all. I love the movie Airbud. It's a great movie. The the villain is. An all-time villain that doesn't get talked about. Just newspapers galore. Uh, As a guy who owns a golden retriever, that scene fucks me up where he's they put Buddy in the middle and it's like pick a side because I, yeah, you, you you know what I'm talking about with the <laughs> yeah. right. That's how yeah, they yeah, yeah. That's that's how they, they settle. like whose yeah. dog is this? And they put him in the middle. Uh, because I, I, I very often look at my dog and I'm like, what would happen if, like, would my dog even come to me? Yeah. Like, would, you, you know, oh, like in a courthouse or something? Thing? Yeah, like if I was put in that situation and someone tried to steal my dog, like my dog is kind of a stubborn asshole. You put and trash bacon in your yeah. pocket. And yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, that would be very devastating. If, yeah. Uh, be tough. Yeah. Titus, yeah. you're up. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. The basketball playing golden I, retriever is yeah, off the board. I know. So. I gotta. Uh, oof, I'm gonna have to pivot here. Um, <laughs> I, I can't. I cannot believe that. This, I, I love this last pick. I love this last pick. I can't believe that this stayed on the board for so long. Uh, I'm taking Dalton from Roadhouse, uh, who is a Tai Chi. Black. He's an obvious black belt. Our martial arts. You took Karate Kid. Is this not the same discipline? He had a competition, the All Valley Karate Championships okay, that he won. What's more impressive, was, like beating up fucking twelve year olds, or taking down the the most murderous, <sighs> like crime riddled city in the history of cinema? I don't think bar fighting is a sport. It's what? not just bar fighting, dude. They were think, all, all the henchmen that are blowing shit up. Fucking they they ran like the the monster truck over the right the, yeah the, the the car dealership Terry Funk just fucking there shit was up. not a single cop anywhere in this town this man is using his bare hands and he's fucking up everybody where were the cops there were no cops <laughs> it was this it was a it was a bound a cooler yeah who was who was saving the entire town with his bare hands and he he literally ripped two dudes throats out we only saw one in the movie but the backstory was he's done this before then we see him do it again in the movie. Uh, if you if you are a martial artist who twice in your life real world application you have ripped the throat out of a bad guy with your bare fucking hands twice. So would any Bruce Lee role have been eligible for this because he fights? Would any? Well, he's yeah. also yes. a martial artist. He's also a mar- that's like, an athlete. Yeah. Is an athlete? Like, that's what I, I don't understand. know. If I I, that uh, you don't, actually, I you don't I, think I, the Karate Kid grows up and becomes Dalton. Like, what do you do with those skills? You're, after you're vetoing you're done? this. I love Roadhouse. I took it in the rewatchable movie draft. I don't know if Dalton's a fictional athlete. That's it. He doesn't play a sport. Well, what sports does he play? The same as your Karate Kid guy. No, the All Valley Championships were a sanctioned sporting event. That's kind of true. That's true. And it's about the so sport you, of you only have to you have to play sanctioned sporting events. I feel like I, 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 exhibitions there, don't count. <laughs> there were no exhibitions. They were just in a bar. His exhi- his, his real life exhibition. That 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 you don't get more. Like, what's the point of learning karate to win fucking trophies or to like actually defend yourself in real world? Mm. Dalton application. All right, fine. fine. No, I love the movie. I'm working on. I'm working through it. I think I thought so far uh, far outside the box that you're jealous. I think you are too far outside the box. You're so far outside the box. I think you're jealous. I think you're like I'm gonna go with the like basic bitch picks. Well, when I picked Jesus Shuttlesworth, I thought, oh, everybody's gonna like it, and these two, three, never even. Move no, because you went to Ricky Bobby so fast. It was just a quick transition. Yeah, mm-hmm. you I think you knew. You glossed over. I, think I won't you do. Knew I won't Jesus do. Charles Worth was weak, so you pivoted quickly. I won't do pick. Dalton. Fine, I won't do. No, Dalton. you can do Dalton. I don't care. I did. If they want to veto, veto Dalton, Tai Chi was. I think sounds Tai-Chi's like Eddie. You're the one that wants to veto it. I, I'll probably veto Dalton. No. I apologize. Grow a ball sack and, and start it. I just did. You just you did. said you'll probably. Like, yeah, as if like, you're waiting for others. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie, so I can't answer. Brandon, mm-hmm. you can make fun of me. Go ahead. I need you, to you would actually, through. Dave, you would love the movie. Yeah, the, you, this, this is a White Sox Dave movie. I just, I this love movie is tailor made for this you. This is a White Sox Dave movie. Yeah. I might have to watch it. You need to leave right now. You need to leave right now and go see Roadhouse. You told me it was a bad movie when I drafted him. That was me. It is a bad movie. 
Bad, bad, bad movie. Oh, 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 well, bad movie doesn't equal thanks. like not watchable. I think it's a great movie. It, it's, but it's like a it's like a bad good movie. It, but it's bad. It's a. Like I don't think plot, it's a bad movie. Bad movie at all. Every, there, he's in some. I mean, it's not trying to be Citizen Kane, right? But it's it's like for but, what it is, it's really good. Yeah, but it's like we're at this country bar with the, like the chains over the over the band. They're throwing oh, it's beer a crazy, bottles. Crazy, stupid. Premise, and then like but it, everybody he fights is also like a right. black belt in. Taekwondo or whatever. Hey, they were in yeah. a throw down in this town, man. Run around he, Sioux. He, the, the amount of knives this yeah. man gets pulled on him and the, the All guns. The time. Like he's just using <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There was yeah. no cops. This man it's a I solid get it. I, get it. He, he was, I will I hear your point that it wasn't yeah, sanctioned it and at no point was he like, I you know, this is he, I, I He's a modern day wider. I, I get that. I think we we'll yeah. let it go. But, all right, so but, all right, so you're letting it go, Chief, it's down to you. I think his board is just so weak. That it doesn't. No, I think it fits there. in with his board. It does. It does fit in with but my board. I, I don't the, think the, he's the, the, it, performing it's, well. I, I'm not going to veto. You can. Right. You can Colin have it. House is in. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, mm. take back your. I'm the only one that veto. Take back your pussy comment. You said you'll probably veto. Yeah, I'm probably going to veto it. Which he did veto. Yes. Well, he probably was. We don't. I'm probably going to have to veto it. White Sox, Dave, you're up. I'll go with Lola Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to make this crystal clear that I'm talking about the 1996 Lola Bunny before the libs got their grubby hands on her. <laughs> I'm talking about the, you know, nice they perky stopped. tits, yeah. short right. shorts, ass hanging out with their little bunny tail like she's in the Playboy Mansion. I'm talking about that Lola Bunny. Yeah. That's yeah. my Lola yeah. Bunny. Mm -hmm. The one that she could looks like she could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. <laughs> All right, we've, we've got there, we've arrived. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? No, you're you're good. Did you know this side of White Sox, Dave Titus? I I've I've heard stories. We'll put it down. <laughs> <laughs> From who? Who's telling stories about me? Everybody on the internet. <laughs> Oh my god! Is it? Are you horny for cartoon characters, or is it just Lola Bunny? No, oh, was it Jessica oh. Rabbit? Who was it? No, no it was Simba. It's Nala. It was, oh, it was Nala. Nala. <laughs> yeah. Nala. And, and and it's not that I'm horny for Nala. I just objectively and, she and has correctly fuck, she has fucked me eyes in that. In she that does. one scene, all every time I'm just like, this is the hardest fuck me eyes I've ever seen. It's like, oh my god, you think Nala's hot? It's like, no, that's what she's doing in the scene. She's giving Simba fuck me eyes. I'm. Have you done your cartoon power rankings? Uh, no, I I believe I am being. Uh, that is being saved for me on the the bracket. I think they did it already. They did. Yeah. They said they were saving them for me. No. I guess I didn't get the, the call of the show. All but, right, Lola um, Bunny. Lola Bunny is definitely up there. She, I yeah. mean, all right, everybody knows that. Just, I, I just love the sentence. But they're she had fucking They're saving that for me. <laughs> they're saving they're the saving. fuckable cartoon characters for, just for me. Just for me, yeah. Um, yeah. Who man. else is up there? And Jessica no, Rabbit's up there. No talk about her mid-range game or nothing? Oh, no, she's got sick handles. Oh, okay. she can score. Are there, yeah, any, can are score. there any like cartoon people, like Pocahontas or Jasmine? Uh, oh. Jessica Rabbit's Jasmine, a person. Jasmine was, Jasmine was hot. J yeah. yeah, Princess from Aladdin, right? Yeah. She, oh, smoke yeah, yeah. She was in that hourglass thing? Yep. That was. What would you... What? Finish well, was, that thought. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna say cartoon Ariel, but then is is she a kid? Is she too young. Uh, she's too young. How old yeah, yeah, yeah. is Ariel? That's, that's too I, young. How old is Ariel? Is Ariel kind of played it fast and loose they, they back did. in the day? Yeah. They they she's she's but, attractive, but is she a kid? But if he was a kid when he saw it, yeah, that, make it, that makes it yeah. fun. No, he didn't see it till he was twenty. Prince, Prince Eric was a man though. Like yeah, no, he I'm was not, a man. I'm so not, that was a little not proving that. Yeah, just proving of Dave saying if she's hot. No, I know. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying in general that might have been might have had a stat. Should we cancel right Prince Eric? Is that what we're doing? I Are think that movie has been canceled. Can you want to go yeah. first? We'll, 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 I'll follow behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. He won't. He won't. He won't cancel him first, Dave. Want a pussy? Right? Chief Mister Irrelevant. I'll take Jimmy Chipwood. Yeah, I mean that's perfect, Mister Irrelevant. No, he, he it should have gone way, way higher. higher. Well, yeah, way higher. I, I should have taken him instead of Shuttlesworth, but Chitwood. Yeah. I had him. Look, look, I had him as a second round pick right here. Look at that. All right, second round pick. That's great value Ooh. for me then. Mm -hmm. Last pick of the draft. Mm -hmm. It's a great movie. It's a perfect movie. They're just like the, you know, the confidence of the kid where the coach draws up plays. He's like, hey, I'll, I'll make, make it. it. I'll make yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> and he does. And that coach doesn't get enough grief for, for drawing that play up the wrong way. So the first dumb. Time. Yeah. So dumb. Like, give it to Jimmy and get yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he also, in, in the same way as Jesus Shuttlesworth, he's got the like so good that he influences politics Correct. thing going yeah. on. Where well, they're, they're throwing the, the coach out. The, the, the politics know. was just about the team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, but like, if but him him playing on the team saved totally. That's what I mean. Like, we the, also the kind fact of that you're him. so good that like 
we we fucking hate this coach. He had a moral high ground. But now all of a sudden we don't hate the coach because yeah. you're Jimmy, gonna play. Jimmy right. should, that's how good he was. We yeah, all kind of forgive him for just not playing the first couple of months. He just uh, he just lazily showed up. Said, "All right, I guess I'll play now." He was okay. Having, I think his mom died. Low yeah. management. Yeah, little, geez, yeah, low management. Some mental oh, health issues. Dead, dead though. He doesn't get credit for load management. He he pioneered load management. Is there, is there any high playoffs? school players that <laughs> load manage? Jimmy Chu would be like, when yeah. the Sorry, tournament I, comes around, I can't I'll play. play. I can't yeah. play for state. I, I, I'm saving I'm my lo- knees for managing. Yeah. Load. Uh, is, so ma- who got second in well, this draft? Will we say? Here's what we do now. So how many honorable mentions do you have left? Do you have any left? Oh uh, my god! I had. Uh, I wrote down Pablo Sanchez as an eventual honorable mention. So okay. you, you you said that. Uh, I was going to shout out Johnny Utah. Um, okay. From Point Break for being an All-American quarterback, who also give me two was good enough at Utah. surfing that he infiltrated the surf gang. How many honorable mentions um, do we get? That's yeah, about, you, you have a read your down list. your list. Um, Adonis Creed. Uh, if I hadn't taken Rocky Balboa, would have been on my list. Dottie Henson from uh, League of Their Own. Mm-hmm. Not a. Not she's a. She's a. She's a woman, Brandon. Are you I understand. Sure that, okay. no, I understand. I wasn't sure if you. Uh, Sam Malone, Mayday Malone from Cheers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Neon Badeau, uh, Shaq's character yep. from uh, from Blue Chips. Billy Hoyle and Sidney <sighs> Dean from White Man Can't Jump. Okay. Um, oh man. Apollo Creed. Fuck. Shane yep. Falco. Rod Tidwell. Uh, Falco would have been Shooter great. McGavin. I had Shooter. And then um, Roy McAvoy from Those Tim are Cup. some good. Uh, All the the replacements. Characters yeah, would have yeah. been good. Obviously, Falco being the best of them. I've got five. Uh, Tweeter, like I said, I was between him and Billy Bob. I want Billy Bob. My other one on a silver platter besides Air Bud was Ivan Drago. Yeah. yeah. Who I debated yeah. right there, who people would have loved. Um, Paul Crew, I would have yep. picked Adam Sandler's version because that's the one Give I grew up on. Give me a D, a D. Give me, all right, all right. And then two uh, little giants, Icebox and Junior Floyd. Oh, that would have been a great yeah. one. Mm-hmm. I didn't think of that movie. Chief, you got any? Uh, Ham Porter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. the heart and soul of that team, by yep. the way. Because yeah, I know I Benny agree. the Jet gets all the love, yep. but Ham Porter was a heart and soul. Catcher of always is a heart and soul. They're the linchpin. Yep. Uh, I don't know if someone said, but Pedro Serrano, love yep. Pedro Serrano. Mm-hmm. Hanson Brothers from Slapshot, and then I had White Goodman from Dodgeball. Ah, good, yeah. good one, Dave. Uh, Roy Munson, Shooter McGavin. I don't know if we yeah. had said him. Yep. Shane so. Falco. Uh, I also have discovered that there is officially a, a fictitious athlete Hall of Fame now. I saw that. Too. Yeah. Um, all right, then. So now here's what we do, Titus. I read it all out again, and then you will vote on who you think had the worst draft. Oh. Therefore, they will not be on the poll. Mm. Okay. okay. Uh, Brandon, Rocky Balboa, Daniel LaRusso, Crash Davis, Jesus Shuttlesworth, Ricky Bobby, Eddie, Benny the Jet Rodriguez, Bobby Boucher, Pablo Sanchez, Billy Bob, Air Bud, Titus, Scott Howard, Michael Jordan, Space Jam Specific, uh, Lightning McQueen, Harry Potter, Dalton from Roadhouse, White Sox, Dave, Kenny Powers, Ricky Wild Thing, Vaughn, Al Bundy, Roy Hobbs, Lola Bunny, Chief, Happy Gilmore, Henry Roan Gardner, Forrest Gump, Bigger and McCracken, Jimmy Chitwood. All right, so you write it down on like your notes app or something. Jesus. Brandon, you could write it down this on. It's kind of uh, difficult, actually. I, I, I think a lot of good drafts. Like who are the worst? Yeah, all right. Mm. <sighs> Mm. All right, is everybody ready? I'm ready. All right, three. Hold on, I, I'm not ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Hold on, I don't. Do you have to write it on yeah. a new note so it's big and bold? You I don't even. I'm sorry, it. you could even write it on your notepad. Oh, we're we're, we're revealing. I, I see yeah. what we're doing. Okay. I see what we're doing. All right, All right. three, two, one. Who do you got? Oh. Titus. Chief. I voted for Titus. I voted for Titus. I voted for Titus. Who'd you vote for? Eddie. Oh, Pablo Sanchez, yeah. you're just pissed at that I like that one, but I thought Air Bud was a terrible pick. It's all right. It's but cool. you made it. It's fine. I made it. Yep. Um, all right, Titus, so unfortunately, to make the poll. I don't, I'm not here to win polls. I'm here to, <laughs> to have the great fucking That's my, Now I kind of want to not vote <laughs> like, for Titus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're, you're from my school of the yeah. draft. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, like every single person I picked, like you will not find one single instance of them fucking anything up. It's <laughs> pure domination from start to finish, but that's okay. That's uh, okay. I mean, Dalton gets his ass kicked multiple times. He comes back though. Like with like one on seven. Don't he gets his ass kicked though? He has to call in fucking Wade. He Garrett. He doesn't call in the greatest. He calls vo- in Wade Garrett. The, w- the greatest know. voice. And of then all he gets time. Wade Garrett's ass killed. Yeah. No, he does. It, it, don't don't do that. This. Happens. Don't do this. That happened. Don't and you know this. it. He he didn't get Wade Garrett's ass killed. Wade How Garrett. Did he not? Wade Garrett got his own ass killed. Also, his hubris. Wade Garrett kind of went out like a bitch, right? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
he he came in and he started kicking ass and all of a sudden he's just dead. It's it's all right. I I knew I knew the second that Brandon opened with Rocky and everyone was like great fucking pick. I knew I was doomed because I knew <laughs> you were very different. I was than like Rocky. I I of course I thought of Rocky, but I was like Rocky. If you really think about it, was not a great boxer. Like he, in terms he was of, heavyweight champion of the world for a like long in, time. In the, in the Rocky franchise, he's not even. He yeah, ended was, the Cold War. I, I don't know. I, I, again, I don't understand the assignment. He was not. Well, well hopefully, you know, next it's time, like next time you'll know. Yeah. You'll, there'll be more I of these. I don't know if I'll get invited back. I, I'll invite you back. <laughs> That's all right. Um, are you happy we waited for you? I thought that was fun. Uh, waited for who? For you. For you. I actually waited for you on like Oh, that's right. White yeah. Sox Dave. I still think y'all have done this category before. We have not. No. Um, but I I, it is what it is. Thank you very much for We should yeah. do this. I got an idea. We should do this, but in my version. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Let's do, just, do, do this no all regard again. for the rules at all? Ex no, uh, like actual good athletes instead of like, this made X number of dollars at the okay. box office. All right. or like, so I'm going to go Seabiscuit. It was a big ass horse. That would be a great pick. See, but like if yeah, never mind. real Whatever. athletes portrayed I, in film. I lose. Movie that's miles. not bad. That's this. not bad either. That'd Michael Jordan in Space Jam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you for uh, coming in. And uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Back tomorrow. See you then.